Boom and bang. We out here, y'all. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We back. The boys are back. He's gonna run this show. He's gonna let you know how we feel about the whole thing that went down this week with the NFL. Gonna give us our thoughts, opinions, our uh our guesses, I guess, to see what's going go down here in the next few weeks. Who's right, who's wrong in the past. You know, we all made guesses last week too about the the predictions, who's making the playoffs. So we gotta review that. So we got a lot to talk about today. So I see you got your shots ready, Jeff. Yep, line them up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you see it for real or no? I saw your I saw the bottle you had in your hand before we went live. Yeah. Can you get you send the link though? Yeah. Yeah, I'll send it now. All right, so to start off, you know what, Jeff? I know you got a, you got a hard week. You probably hurt most more than b- both of us because we already knew we out. But my yeah. boy Jeff held out hope for his <laughs> squad. Uh, he thought he was really going to slide in. He thought last second he was going to squeeze in there and catch the VIP section. Nah, nah. The bouncer <laughs> caught you. They kicked you out. Now you're out in the cold. What you got to say about them pats, dog? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to sound like y'all lame losers. Um, <laughs> but basically, this is the best thing that can happen to us. Um, I feel like if we went to playoffs anyways, it would have been a waste of time. And I hope one thing, one thing comes out of this. We get rid of fucking Matt Jones. Either we get rid of him or at the least bare minimum or have a quarterback competition for next year. This guy does not deserve to be having a automatic starting spot. So Dude, how do you on, put man. it on the back of Matt Jones? Right. Y'all don't have a real offensive coordinator and y'all definitely don't have no weapons. Thank you. He sucks. Let me preach that gospel. He sucks, right? bro. Hey. He sucks, bro. Like Listen, all that considered, he still sucks. Like, if you look at the highlight tape, that's the thing. You have to look at the tape. There's so many times it's like, bro, are you serious? Like, bro, I, was, I didn't even watch the game. I saw on Twitter, there was a red zone attempt. Well, this guy literally ran, and all he had to do was just, like, show that he's going to run. The defender got off Devontae Parker. He could have passed to Devontae Parker, and Devontae Parker would have got a touchdown. Instead, this guy runs for two yards and gets tackled. Like, bro, you're not Lamar Jackson. Like, if you're going to run, run to set up the pass. Because let's be honest, if you're running, you're not getting nowhere. They're going to catch up to you anyways. It was third and ten. This guy go run. I'm thinking, okay, he's trying to lose the defender, make the defender come closer, which they are, to pass. And he's like, no, nah, I'm going to just let them tackle me. And it's just like, bro, like, dude, no, man, no. He's just not the guy, man. He's just not the guy. And. And that's what it comes down to sometimes. You're just like, yeah, you know, you're not it. So. Well, you know, nobody's coming to New England unless y'all make them. The so, worst yeah. part is we have a backup that I think is already better. Like we have Bailey Zappi. I'd rather take him. We have a first round pick. We can get QB off that way. There's QBs on the market. Like there's so many options. We'd have to settle with Mac Jones. Like I know, no Patrick Mahomes walking through the door. Or no Josh Allen, but bro, there's better options than Matt Jones. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> hey, so. I mean, y'all keep telling me, uh, what's his name, Anthony Richardson? Go ahead and grab him, bro. Right. Go ahead and grab him. I mean, I, he's, he's already slated for the Colts. He's already slated for the Colts. You know, I don't want to rob him. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but let me no say, uh, there's, there's better shit out there. That's all I'm going to say. Damn, so, I need to go ahead and trade like two first for Derek Carr or something. Oh no, 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 we're not, we're not that dumb. That's Colts all day. That's oh. Colts philosophy oh, all day. Damn. All My day. Still on the Colts tip, dog. All we're talking about day, the pass day. right now, dog. This guy Jeff, all day. this is to blame the whole loss on Mac Jones. Get out of here, man. I'm not blaming the loss on Mac Jones. I'm just saying, I hope whatever comes from this loss, we get rid of Mac Jones. Like, whatever comes from this season, I hope we get rid of Mac Jones. That's what I'm saying. I'm not blaming on the loss. I'm just saying he's not it. <laughs> That's, it's, it's, not, I mean, it's not too hard. It's not too complicated. He's not that guy. Not <laughs> so, let's let's have a little, uh, little revisionist history here. Y'all let Brady walk. 
The next man on deck was Stidham. No, Cam Newton. It was supposed okay. to be Stidham. All right, you're right. You're right. I have bum ass cam. Oh, cool. hey, Cam has a whole lot of Bum <laughs> ass cam. Continue. 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 I had Stidham before Cam came onto the picture. Oh, no, no, no. We had Cam. So, Stidham was always the backup. So, did he, did he have a little run? I feel like he had a little run with you guys. It depends what you mean by little run. Little run would be like when Cam got injured or when we were eliminated from the playoffs. But he did have like a full season. If that's what you're getting at. Okay, so y'all rolled with Kim. Y'all said he wasn't the answer. Yeah, yeah, definitely that. That's when y'all went to Mac Jones, then. Cause yeah, yeah. So when the hell did he get? I feel like I feel like you discount Stiddy, that I got. How much discount Stiddy? Because when was his time? He never had a time. He was supposed I, to have a time. And then randomly, we just picked up Cam in July. So uh, he had his off-season time. And I swear I've seen him play a couple of times, but maybe I'm yeah, not. Yeah, somebody got injured, <laughs> then he played. Damn, so well, they started off with Cam. Cam got injured. They threw Stiddy in the game. Yeah, but a couple times he played because we were blown out. And then they threw Stiddy in. And then I don't know if you remember, that's when Bill Check was like, who's going to be our starter? For next week, he's like, okay, I'm a starter. Okay. Like, he did that about like two, three times. Okay. So it's not just injury. So yeah. y'all had Cam. Y'all had Stidham. Shit, y'all even tried Brian Hoyer. Oh, and, also, Cam got COVID. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, he did get, yeah, he right. got COVID. He got COVID and so that's another reason. And that was why. it. And he, was and he didn't right. look the same after COVID. Yeah, right. that's, that what, it that's what really All happened. Right. So, yeah. And then he turned to a bum ass. So what I hear, y'all went through four NFL QBs, <laughs> Brian Horror, Stidham, Cam, and Mac Jones, and we still not blaming Bill Belichick at all. Nah, Is that man. what I'm hearing? I mean, don't get me wrong. You can blame me on Bill Belichick. I mean. But you guys are listening to me wrong. I'm not trying to, you know, separate blame or give percentages to blame. I'm just saying, if anything that we can find out out of the season, is that Mac Jones is, is not it, and I feel like yeah. it's not hard. It's not hard to like, you know, debate that. It's not hard to like not see that. All you have to do is literally uh, look at the tape uh, and look how he plays, and look know. at the tape and look at how the keys, like, and you'd be like, yeah, he's not it. I That's all you have to do. Well, it's it's like, like, I mean, how many quarterbacks you ever had? You had Cam you Newton. Agree with me. Who was like two years removed from like an MVP? And you yeah. had, bro, he you won had, the MVP 2015, bro. Relax. Uh, five he years. Twenty twenty five years. I'm trying to adjust. He went, he went to what, like so right, five years removed, and since that MVP, he's never been the same. Okay, continue. <laughs> we got over here trying to sugarcoat yeah, shit. Have, no, we don't sugarcoat it. Yeah, let's, okay, let's put it like this. Let's put it like this. Y'all have not been able to find any kind of quarterback to do any kind of offensive help for y'all at all. Yep. Like, you know so, what that reminds me of? Is it them me or of is it y'all? Panthers. I feel like is we're, you know, y'all can't talk crap because y'all in the same situation. You know the worst part is? At least we're still going to playoffs every other year. At least we're still having decent records. Y'all just is the bottom of the litter, though. So y'all can't even be Well, y'all about. in the same position. In the worst position, actually. We're better than we're y'all better have than a, a more horrible draft pick. Y'all in the division with a lot of young QBs. And a lot of young talent in there as well, and they keep stacking up every year. Eventually, if y'all don't do some kind of shift, y'all just gonna be like forgotten. I feel and like you know what happens in I, the NFL. I feel like we're better than you guys because we have Bill Belichick. You guys change coaches like it's freaking a, a fab. It's like a TikTok trend. Every two years, new coach. Every two <laughs> years, new coach. So we're better than you guys. <laughs> okay. Damn, I'm with you. Why do, it's not why happening. Do you it's not fired, dog. <laughs> so why don't y'all stop Raheem Hines this week? Because y'all better than us, right? Mm. I, I mean, I mean, mm. I mean, the proof is mm. in the pudding. We lost the Bills. That's a superior team. Y'all would have done the same. Okay. <laughs> you know? I don't think y'all can talk to too do much crap. Just, you know, okay. we're still better than you guys. It's, it's not hard. Yeah, so what you man, telling me? Here's here's how I'm kind of hearing. It. I don't know. We'll see you next year. Maybe I'm hearing it all wrong. I don't know. I don't know. But what I'm hearing from Jeff 
is if they get rid of Mac and they put Zappy in, they're in the playoffs next year. Am I hearing that right, Jeff? I would say yes. I would say yes. And once again, the playoffs, because Mac, Mac brought you on the playoffs too now. Don't discount yeah. that. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You're quick to bring that up. Oh, we're in the playoffs. One, and another one game away season from the playoffs. Right? Yeah, yeah. But you also have to understand, like, well, no, I, I no. think almost almost any QB could do that because our defense, dude, our defense scored seven touchdowns. Like our defense is so like you know on the upper tier that as long as you don't mess it up, we should win. You know, so it's not like don't get me wrong, Mac did okay, but bro, we do like ten touchdowns. Like that's not impressive. You know, that's not something to write home about the whole season. Yeah, but don't get me wrong, he missed like three games, but. You only do like 10, 11 touchdowns. Like, it's it's sad. <laughs> like, if you look at his stats, it'll be like, damn. It's sad. Like, a lot of these times when we score 20, it's like the defense scoring a touchdown. He scores one touchdown, whether, you know, running back runs there or you pass it. And then Nick Folt, the superhero, get like four field goals. <laughs> like, that's how he mm-hmm. gets to 23, 27. It's about one touchdown from the offense. Maybe if we <laughs> get lucky, two touchdowns from the defense. <laughs> they don't have field goals. <laughs> like, that's the only reason why we scored 20 and 25 and 28. It's not because of Mac. So that's the problem. He's just – he's not good enough. So and I feel did, like we can get better. Did he regress? Because I feel like his rookie season, he put up more than 10. No, he definitely – no, he put up 14 this year. But, yeah, he definitely regressed. But a lot of people keep blaming it on the offensive coaching, the offensive I mean, staff. I don't think that's it. I just I think mean, he's just not it. And so, that's okay. So either he had a sophomore slump or the defense coordinators drawing up. I mean, the offensive coordinators drawing defensive plays during the, practice during the week. I don't know. Or 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 he's just not it. And I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, bro. I just wish one day I could just show you all the highlights of what I'm talking about, and then you would understand why I'm saying this. Well, I know, man. Promise, it's tough. It's tough to sell it on that because we don't have franchise QBs, and we kind of wish we had someone like Matt. Like, shit. No, you don't. I no, mean, don't. No, I had Matt Ryan. Right. Nice. You say that to me nice. No, 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 no. no don't get me wrong. Mr. Sam Donald. I actually, I actually <laughs> probably would rather say Sam Donald, to be honest with you. Oh, no, 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 no. I know, no. I know. <laughs> no. I, I would probably rather. You don't know I, what you're wishing for, Doc. <laughs> Yeah, I actually like Sam. No, I don't. I don't. Like Jeff, I don't like took three, four shots already. Dog. I don't know that. <laughs> Jets are, are done for franchise, bro. I don't think any, any quarterback can see that. It's like, it's like Mac was a first round pick. So that doesn't mean nothing. Who came from Bama? So it who means something. Still doesn't mean nothing. Who came? From, hey, and then Belichick. Ever since Brady left, went downhill. And now y'all looking for a scapegoat, and don't let Mac um, get traded to someone like 49ers uh, and end up looking like a, a a playoff quarterback. If if Brock Purdy could look like that, you think Mac can't? Listen, man, that, you're probably right. You're probably you're probably right. But I'm just saying, for his skill skill set, I just think Zappy's better, man. Zappy's better. Because the thing is, in my head. If you can't run, you got to be very good cerebral. And he's not it, bro. He's not there yet. He's not that smart. He doesn't read. Like, the read's fast enough. He's just, he's not it. And uh, at worst, you're not fast either. So it's like, bro, if you're not fast, you got to be good up top. And if you're not good up top, then what are what good are you? And that's the problem, man. Like, I'm telling you, like, don't get me wrong. Maybe you can succeed. In a, a place like 49ers, but let's be honest, 49ers are like one of the, one of like two three teams that have weapons like that. We don't have mm-hmm. weapons like that. We need a quarterback to save us. 49ers, they, they don't need a quarterback to save them. We don't have Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> There's only one of those, you know. We don't have Debo. There's only one. Like no, no. Don't get me wrong. He may succeed, but like that's only like one team that has it like that. Like most teams don't have it like that. And we're one of those teams that don't. So <laughs> we need Zappy or another another QB, and that's just how I feel. So, so Ryan, you tell me, as an outsider looking into the Patriots organization, if Zappy starts for twenty three all the way through, 
You think they're winning a playoff game? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. So he's going to be exactly like Mac, who brought him to the playoffs last I feel like season. He was probably he lost, in the he more in the I feel like he was throwing more interceptions than Bill at this pool. Huh? I don't think he'll make it through the whole season. Mm. Oh. Jeff. You guys don't know. It's okay. Can you defend that, Jeff? You think he can win a playoff game next year if he starts the whole season? I just think it depends on who you face. If you face a team like Bills or Bengals, then no. No. But if you face a team like, like I would say, Jaguars, Titans, you know, basically like the lower team, then yes. But Chiefs, Bengals, Bills. So basically, he got to place. He got to do a four seed or lower. Right. Like, first of all, y'all, y'all not going to division. So you got to be like the six or seven seed. So you're playing one of those upper echelon AFC. I mean, Titans were number one last year. So those teams can be number one, two, or number two, or number three. So it can happen. Jaguars? Jaguars could. Titans were last year. Like, it can happen. Titans fell apart. That was a fluke. One and done. So let's let's take the teams that go be there. Let's take the teams that go be there year in year out. The Bills, the Chiefs, the Bengals. You could pencil those three in for next year, 2023, 2024. Well, then the answer is no. I don't think you can beat those teams. Well, then that's the answer. I think I think he's a better answer. (laughs) (laughs) So this offseason, you just need to bring a new QB in. Is what I hear. At least quarterback competition. That's a, at least minimum, I guess. Quarterback. So now you have three QBs. You got Mac Zappy and someone else. No, we don't even bring another. We can just have a quarterback competition between the two. Or if they want, bring another one. That'd be great too. But if we bring another one, they'll probably trade Mac. But yeah, I just want at least at the minimum a quarterback competition. That's all. I, have. Hey, hey, I, I just want you guys to bit. understand. No, Baker no, on the way. Baker. Oh, there you go, Ryan Baker. What's good? The reason why I like Zappy better than Mac, because to me they're similar. Zappy can run, and that makes a huge difference in today's NFL. So, like the Raiders game, we would have won that game if Mac was fast. Because he did a bootleg, he was wide open. Huh? Y'all lost to the Raiders this year? Come on, man. Stop playing. So, here we did a bootleg. We did, we did a bootleg. We did a bootleg on third and ten. Mag was wide open. But his oh, I was forgot. Like you mean when got yeah. on and trucked over. That yeah, be was quiet. That so, so, oh, so, so, yeah. so, so, like I was saying, be quiet. But yeah. on third and ten, before all that occurred, bro, Mag <laughs> did a bootleg. Mag did a bootleg. It got caught up because he's so slow. Zappy would have got the first down. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know, Jeff. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Colts at least beat the Raiders. So, I mean, I don't know how much better y'all, y'all are than us. <laughs> bro, the Colts beat the Chiefs, bro. Just because you beat someone, that doesn't mean you're better than us. Come on. Get out of I here. Mean, we waxed the Colts' ass. Jeez. Hey, we we beat y'all last, last year, so we even. Whatever, oh, man. We, we got your coach fired. That's how good we were, though. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can't talk uh, that right now. <laughs> All right. So, by end of the day, Jeff, a Pats fan, what well, he's demanding from the offseason is a real QB battle and let the best man win to lead the team exactly. next year. Yes, that would be beautiful. Okay. So, if you get that, you're content with the play? Yes. I mean, w- w- with your offseason? Yes. Damn. So, Ryan. It's not, it's not much to ask. It really isn't that much. You think it's Ryan, mm-hmm. you tell me. If Zappy starts, you think Jacoby Myers is going to be a lot better? Or... Is Hunter Henry a hater, a bro. tight end all of a sudden? Right? Just uh, go negative. John Smith? Like, what are we doing? Hey. Like, he hey, just said he is, that's, all he, that's what he's on his Christmas list. Is. Bro, y'all, y'all dropping bags on tight ends, bro. It's <laughs> a, a Patriot way. <laughs> well, I'm a hater, <laughs> Yo, hey. they, <laughs> Belichick can't let go of the Hernandez and Gorkowski days. He's like, yo, 
<laughs> I was on top of the world. <laughs> like we go re. <laughs> We're going to relive that and make that happen again. So two tight ends, no matter what, we paying them and they coming. But it ain't working, Jeff. What's good, dog? So you don't even need to get better weapons. You just want Zappy starting and you're good. Yeah. I just want quarterback right. competition. All yeah. right. Will the past fan be, you know, and Bill they still trust? Even though Bill can't win them nothing no more, those days are over, long gone. Hey, right. y'all, I mean, tell you what, bro. Hey, this, a hey, real talk. This is not going to happen, but this is what y'all should do, to be honest with you. Man, y'all should just go ahead. Y'all, the offense y'all have, better go ahead and give up two first for Lamar. I would take that. Y'all should, I'll man. trade two first for Lamar, yeah. It's going to probably be like two first and like some change, but, you know, that's better than nothing. Yeah, we'll throw, we'll throw Mac in there too, though. <laughs> just, here you go. Good luck. They're gonna trade Mac. They're gonna give Mac up instead of the seventh round. Oh, <laughs> no. First of all, Ravens are never letting that happen. Last thing they want is keep Mac in the conference just to have Belichick get a hold of him. I mean, keep uh, Lamar in the You're conference nice. just to have Belichick to get a hold of him and start beating their ass for the next 15 years or 10 years or whatever. So that's yeah, never gonna happen. About that. Yeah, you gotta right. keep running with him with a real defense, right? <laughs> right. Like uh, yo, they, they be they be discriminating against us. Yeah. Uh, so you think so? Because if people don't want to try to win, bro, uh, there was a a, a source that Giants didn't want to trade us OBJ. We wanted OBJ. They're like, nah. We even offered more, and they're like, nah. And they trade him to the Browns instead. Damn. So, I'm sure there was more scenarios like that when they're like, nah, not big. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I don't know. They seem like they didn't want OBJ to uh to succeed at all. Like the Giants, <laughs> that's probably it too. To, to, <laughs> they to the like, no, we ain't about to send him to go get no rings, <laughs> right? They <laughs> sent him so his career go die. Like yeah. they're like, oh, we know where you where you go suck at. Send him over to Cleveland. They don't know yeah. how to get nothing right. <laughs> Cleveland is like as soon as they put your name on the paper, your career on the downfall. <laughs> your tight, your hamstring tighten up while you walking up the stairs. <laughs> oh, You're not lying. <laughs> it's up to Deshaun to change that shit now, because and Deshaun they trust. If that shit don't work out with Deshaun, that shit ain't working, dog. Yeah. Them boys had like ten QBs in the past ten seasons, so yeah. I don't know what they gonna do. Yeah, we don't work with Deshaun and Amari. Right. You got Nick Chubb. Plus, he got yeah. I was about to say Nick Chubb and Njoku's ball in this season. Yeah, but like, I don't you, know, bro. They should have a top ten offense next year. I don't want to hear nothing. Your O line's good, your defense is good, your offense is good. You have a good coach. What the problem is? That's going that's gonna be something to watch next year. Uh, but and then on top of it, if the Ravens get rid of Lamar. Yeah, basically, it would just be the Browns and the Bengals in that division. Oh, no, you got Pittsburgh in there, too, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't sleep on Steelers. Yeah. They that always is. seem to be able to scrape through. Yo, Tomlin, the, Tomlin, the truth, duh, even yeah. with the rookie QB, you still got to, like, really beat him. He's not going to let you walk up in there and drop 30 and wax his ass. Like, you got to go out and gut out the W. So, you got to respect the Steelers, man. Yeah, that's true. But uh, I mean, I really think Lamar. Since we're talking about Lamar, I really think the um, the Ravens don't have many options but to trade him away at this point because it seems like he's not playing in the playoff game this year. I told you he wasn't playing. Yeah, I told you that. that. It's just you just you did say that. It's just hard to believe that somebody as competitive as him. Unless Bro, his knee here, just really is not right, get his knee could not that. really be right. Get out of here, though. I think, yeah, what yeah. He have, I'm like, gonna be competitive, million? but risk 200 million. Get out of here, dog. Get out of here, dog. F that competitive. Where's my money? You, know what? <laughs> you, <laughs> you have a chance to win a ring, bro. Like, no, they're old. not winning a ring, man. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here with who? James Roche? James Roche? Isaiah Likely? Demarcus I mean, Robinson? Likely is nice. the ring with? Come on, man. Get out of here, dog. Good. Yeah, no, don't don't worry, you can still grab OBJ. Right. 
right? Like OBJ still out there. You still out there. You got him right now. Yeah, Give him yeah, three plays to run all game. Yeah, that is. That. They ain't winning crap. <laughs> they being Chiefs, Bengals, or Bills. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I guess I can't dispute that. They don't. They don't have a real number one receiver. So uh, that's gonna no, be hard to yeah. I mean, yeah, you got no, Robinson. I mean, the, only, the Ravens' really only option is, I mean, they can pay him or trade him, or they're gonna have to trade him because I mean, he might not. He probably won't play on the franchise side. You know what I'm saying? I think he has to, bro. He has to. He's probably going to do the same thing if they put the franchise tag on. It would just even be more mad. Yeah. Like, oh, I, 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 I think you can reject the franchise tag, though. No, no. You cannot yeah. sign it. But if you don't sign it and you don't play within a certain number of games, then it just – it's like the year doesn't count. So, yeah. kind of like what Le'Veon Bell did. Like, yeah. he's lucky Steelers are just like, okay, we're still going to make the year count. They did franchise tag him. But he has to play. So that's why it kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, but but Jeff was on to something last week. He said he going to make the tension, like, unbearable yeah. Yeah. in the locker room. Yeah, front office. In the building. Yeah. So they know. It's not like, oh, maybe he's yeah. just hurt. Maybe he just yeah. can't do it. Oh, they know. You don't want to because y'all ain't paying them. Yeah. So you can't leave that stuff. All up in the locker room next year too, because the players know the locker room know. It's They're gonna like, be worse oh. next year too. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, I mean, they all grown men. You try harder when you know you have a chance. If you know you don't have a chance, you're not gonna try as hard. You get, you get a lot of plays are gonna be blown. The guys who come at with they're, they're gonna start doing arm tackles because they're like, why should I put my body on the line and risk injury mm-hmm. if we don't even have our best chance to win? He's sitting over there on the sidelines with those nice shades on, chilling, because they won't pay him. <laughs> so so that, that just destroys the whole team morale because, I mean, Ravens took a big step back this season. It's like if it wasn't for Rokon Smith, them boys would have really been terrible because that defense was already looking bad. He saved their defense, and the offense ain't there no more. I thought Tyler Huntley was decent. He ain't that good either. So it's all right. You got um, J.K. Dobbins who just came back. Who knows how those knees go hold up? Yeah, <laughs> those knees still, give out still be banged up like every week, right? Those knees give out any game, especially Nicole. One good hit. Oh, go, take me out. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they play outdoors. Right, um, bring the cart. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Ain't no Lamar. Oh, I don't even know why I'm out here. I sh- I, I took way too many hits already. Like, <laughs> but those players go, no, like, come on. Huntley ain't the other deliver the goods. Lamar on the bench. The coach is already frustrated. Like, all that shit shows. So GM got real decisions this offseason after they lose, of course. He's got to either pay the man or trade him because you can't keep this linear in. And if you trade him, you need to have an answer. Like if you trade him, what you getting back? You getting back Mac Jones? Or you Mac Jones did two first. No, I mean. That sounds a lot better. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's, right? say, let's say you think you think Houston will take Lamar with their pick? Honestly, it's got to be someone in the NFC. So that they could do something like we'll trade Lamar for Daniel Jones. Or some shit like that, mm. like some team that was that's not fully confident with their QB, so they're willing to take Lamar on, and then Ravens will take that QB on, so they could tell the fan base, "Hey, we got something back in return plus two first. Well, let me tell you this then, because so Seattle or Detroit, mm, I can Ooh. see Pete Carroll. I can see both of them doing that, really. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, yeah. I think it's going to be Seattle because Detroit balled this year, so now they probably believe in Jared Goff now again. Because they're like, okay, we see what he can do when you get the right game plan for him. Yeah. So now they know what plays work, what plays don't. Even if the offensive coordinator leaves, the head coach goes, no, okay, this is our hits right here. 
So whoever is the new OC, we're going to definitely implement a lot of the stuff we did last year into the playbook so keep that rolling. So you don't – I mean, it's nice to have Lamar, but you know you have to give up some more – you have to give up something more than Jared Goff, and the Lions probably not willing to do that because they're finally getting stuff rolling. They don't want to give up any first-round draft picks because then they're going to be set back. But the Seahawks – the Seahawks will give up some change because they just got those Broncos picks. Yeah, they got. So they could be like, "Hey, so. we'll break even by giving those yeah. picks over there to uh, to the Ravens, and and we get Lamar, and yeah. and you could trade Geno for at least a second right now." Yeah, that's true. I can see that. Right? They trade Geno and those picks because you know Geno. I mean, I mean, yeah. I don't. I was gonna say on the Ravens side, Geno. Send Geno to the Ravens. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much of a, a hot commodity, because basically they're trying to basically they're basically at that point they give away Lamar. They're saying that we can win without you, based off of our defense and whatever other assets we have. So I mean, they would have to rebuild other stuff. But I don't know if Gino would be able to pop off without a um without a, you know two good receivers like he has in, in Seattle. Yeah, so. that yeah, that you're right. That's a big deal because those those receivers are pro bowl receivers. Yeah. So you got two pro bowl receivers. You got a nasty rookie running back. So most QBs could work with that. So they <laughs> shit, they made Gino look good. <laughs> Who would have thought Gino would be good this year? So <laughs> Ravens would know for sure. All right, if we're bringing Gino in here, you know we got to go spend everything we got in the bank. To put shit around him because he ain't carrying the team. He can't put the team on his back. So okay. you're gonna have to go get Odell and some uh, some other pieces because you can't <laughs> you can't throw out Duvernay and Prochet as the one two punch out there. Or you gonna be in the lottery next year. So damn. I mean, I mean it is it is honestly though, I feel like that it, it would be great for Seattle though, because they got two picks in the top twenty this year alone. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So they really they and they still get a draft after that, you know what I'm saying? So, so I'm saying that's really not a lot at all. Like you yeah. get two two and Gino or two and you know a fifth. Two and Gino. Like two and Gino. Ravens taking it because they're not trying to pay Lamar. That's the problem. Yeah. They'll they'll hey Lamar could stay. They just don't want to give him the 40 mil or 45. Yeah. So they're like, yo, two and a starting QB deal. Get this headache out of the locker room. Becoming a cancer. We'll figure out what we could do with Gino. We still got a decent head coach back here. And then yo. Seahawks will be elated because they're like, yo, we broke even. We still got a first round draft pick because they'll probably keep whatever they got and this just give away the Broncos picks. And you got Pro Bowl receivers. Lamar never even had that before. I was just about to say Lamar with DK will be nasty. Right. And, oh and Tyler God. Lockett. Yeah. So if you double team DK because he's 6'4 running 4'3 up top, Lock is like, yo, I'm one on one over here. I'm going to cook whatever corner is guarding me. Just keep throwing me the ball. And whenever they start focusing on me, then he go throw Metcalf the bombs. So it's like, yo, pick your poison. Plus, plus you still got a rookie running back back there that you can keep toting the rock with so you don't have Lamar running too much so he don't keep getting injured. So I feel like. You're right. Seahawks is probably the perfect place for Lamar to really like thrive and take his game to the next level. Because I feel like his rookie year, second year, was his peak, and I don't know if he's if he ever could get back to that. So he's gonna need help because now the whole the whole league knows how to play Lamar. Before he caught the league by surprise, now they all know how to play him. So now he needs to come with a new strategy, and the strategy is get him some real receivers. And then let's now, see what the defense coordinator is going to do. You feel me? Now I'm kind of mad we talked about it because I feel like the Ravens is going to – because I really want that to happen now, and I feel like the Ravens <laughs> is going to get some bullshit. And, really, and, in, and in the end, it's just going to be bullshit because it's not going to get them anywhere, and Lamar is not going to get anywhere. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. But, I will, but the Seahawks, if I'm the GM, I'm already on the phone. Right, right. Like, hey. No, <laughs> you don't need to talk to the physical baby. about it. Hey, you put these GMs on game, home. baby. Hey, we'll think for y'all. Jay, just yeah. a little cut. <laughs> Gino's already on the plane right now. You're right. <laughs> right. Like, 
I we mean, gonna, I'm saying we're going to cut his ass. <laughs> Unfortunately, the up. loser, the loser is the Ravens, you know, because they losing an MVP quarterback for Geno. I don't know what to call Geno, but maybe a bridge. So you losing an MVP quarterback for a bridge. And who knows if you ever get that talent again on your roster. But, I mean, unless y'all could give me a better option, like, do they keep Lamar? I can't. I can't think of no. Like I don't. Uh, obviously, they don't want to pay him the money. It's already shown basically that they can't win without him, and so it's you know Huntley obviously isn't great, but he's not just complete trash. And uh, you know they don't ever have any offensive weapons that just completely stand out and you know make the defense respect them or whatnot to give Lamar more space. So, it, I mean, if nothing's going to change, you're going to have to make it change because you already see, seen the last, like, three years, basically, that, like, you can only get so far in, in this deep league. You know what I'm saying? It's too many games in the regular season. Then the playoffs on top of that, to just be uh, relying on him to run and making plays every single game. Cam was able to do it for one year. And at that time, he was revolutionary. You know what I'm saying? Michael Vick, he's hot. You know, everybody's like, Michael Vick, Michael Vick. But he was never able to get a ring because of that. You know what I'm saying? So, it's and then and then Cam was so Cam was doing, like, basically trucking everybody that year. And then he, he ran into a defense that was legendary, which you're going to end up running into in the AFC, you know, and it stopped him in his tracks because he didn't have no weapons to just get the ball out to. So, the same thing's going to happen with Lamar. He might have a season where he's get through it all the way healthy. And as soon as he gets to the playoffs, they're going to be like, oh, no, we got some real pass rushers here. You don't got nobody to throw the ball to? It's going to look sad. Yeah. You're not lying. So yeah. we'll see how, how they all unfold. I mean, I feel like sometimes the offseason has more drama than the season. So it makes it, it keeps it exciting, especially when you yeah. have moving parts <laughs> like that. So it's like drama for – people who like sports like <laughs> what's gonna happen in, right after the super bowl so we'll we'll all see feel me so next let me hear about the panthers ryan let me hear what's good over there i mean i hear all kinds of stuff coming out of carolina hey are y'all picked up john harbaugh what's good over there man you mean jim harbaugh <laughs> yeah i mean J- J- jim harbaugh my bad go ahead <laughs> Um, no, nah, so as far as Harbaugh goes, I don't think we're going to pick up Harbaugh, to be honest with you. Um, and I think it's not even like we wouldn't pay him. I think it's basically that he didn't, you know, probably has other options he'd rather do. Um, like, you know, there's a vacancy in Arizona, which is not a horrible team. You got mm-hmm. Kyler Murray there. And for a lot of people, it's like, at least I know I have a quarterback that I can play. And then you already know he's he's hurt going into most of the next year, so you already have a reason to lose games. That's a you know, and then you get another high pick again. So that's a very good situation to walk into. I heard Sean Payton trying to get there, but we'll see. Cause he you know he's won it basically everywhere. I have not heard us interviewing Sean Payton for any position, but besides Steve Wilkes. Um, which is the interim head coach for the Panthers right now. The only person I probably would want is um, probably Sean Payton. And then today, I think I heard today that we were interviewing the offensive coordinator for the, the Lions. I forget his name off the top of my head. But, I mean, that's okay, but I feel like they have a lot of weapons. Like, they've been drafting first-round receivers like the last three years. You know, so I don't I don't really trust that he'll be able to turn it around. But we've been really actually winning games with Wilkes. You know, most of them are in division. Um or and we also beat the Lions with Wilkes already this year. So I mean I I feel like we should just stick with Wilkes. Uh, you know, I'm pro black, so black head coach, he got the locker room under him already. He's from the Carolinas and oh, so, yeah, he's yeah. So, you know, I'm just like, you know, give him a chance. 
And we got some – we got defense is pretty good already. Man, let's just go ahead and put it, you know, together a little package, make some trades, and then see what we can do, especially with a soft NFC South. You know, after this year, it's going to be even, probably even worse, honestly. Okay, okay. So, so I, would, I would say let's just get, keep, give Steve Wilkes a job right now and let him really have the whole offseason to get his – um offensive coordinators you know heck uh, i mean sorry defensive coordinators um you know and personnel in order so you know going into the draft for sure okay what we need also hey y'all saw what i said about deandre hopkins yeah Arizona. now yeah. what I'm on the block i knew that was going to happen man i knew that we need to we need to get our stuff in order so this does not pass us by because we need a big splash like that not only for the fan base but we need uh, somebody that's reliable outside of Moore. Moore is hot when Sam Darnold's playing. They're like they have a good connection, but that's not going to get us into a second round of the playoffs, you know, or a, a NFC division. You know, we're not going to be able to compete with the Eagles and stuff like that, uh, or or offense like the Lions that completely keeps putting up, you know, thirty points a game. Mm-hmm. We're not going to be able to keep competing with these people. This off of defense, you know, if something happens to J.C. Horn, you see what happened at the Bucks game. We was winning most of the game. Then they realized, oh, so one corner can't match up with Evans. You know what I'm saying? And then blew the whole game open. And we had J.C. Horn. And then I think another one of our quarterbacks is out, too. I forget his name right now, though. But uh, we probably will be in the playoffs right now. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But I want us to basically – take that real next step. And David Tepper is supposed to be an owner, kind of like Jerry Jones. It's like, I'm ready to win now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's from, he's from like the old Pittsburgh, like Ben Roxburgh era. You know, he was, he was like consulting with them and stuff like that. So or he was a minority owner with them. So he really is about that. Like we going to fight, fight, fight. And we're going to win. Fuck, you know, be like, Oh, next year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, He's supposed to be ready to spend that money, so we're going to see if he's ready to spend that money for real or not coming into this year. But, yeah, we need Steve Wilkes. We need to get that. Go ahead. And, we need to go ahead and lock that in, and then we also need to go ahead and get DeAndre Hopkins and uh, see what else we can do, man, to be honest with you. And so, Jeff, give me your percentage on you thinking D-Hop going to Carolina, though. You mean, like, two? Oh, <laughs> so I boy Ryan's dreams go just crash and burn up in flames, huh? Yeah, I feel like maybe if you had like Christian McCaffrey, then he could do like a one for one. But um, I really think Arizona might request a first round pick, and I just can't imagine you trading yours for an aging receiver. That's the definition of an aging receiver, Harris. It's almost 30, 31. That's almost 28 and in his prime. But, yeah, that's the problem. So, I just feel like he's going to be dealt for a first-round pick. And I don't, I don't think you guys are going to give your first-round pick for him. So, Dang, you think someone in the league is going to give a first-round pick for Hopkins right now? Well, no, no, like, you're, you're not giving a first-round round pick for McCaffrey. You're not giving a first round pick for Hopkins. Oh, McCaffrey's a running back. So what? And Hopkins is a receiver. Wide receiver. Who's who's no, older? Not really? And he he's more than McCaffrey. So on no point is he. He's more of an offense than than Hopkins is. No, but he's not more injury prone. He was suspended. He was suspended for six games. He wasn't injured. He also, he also was hurt this year too. No, no, he just missed the last couple of games because you know he has nothing to play for. But uh, he he was he was injured. He was just suspended. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure that he was injured, and but it doesn't matter either way. And he he has not been consistent the last two years, I guess I would say. The way what are you talking like, about? Oh, he got That's suspended. You, he, he got suspended, and he was hurt this year. Whether you want to admit it or not, he was hurt. Bro, what what do you mean? Last year he had over a thousand yards. That's consistent. Like, this year he was great until like Kyle and Murray got injured in their season, and then it's like who cares? 
He got didn't he get hurt last year? I'm pretty sure that he got hurt last year. He got over a thousand yards last year. That's what I know for sure. That's consistent. Uh I guess in a in a seventeen I mean, it's like seventeen games. So a thousand I mean, yards is nothing no more, right? That's what you're telling me. A thousand yards is huh? Yeah, a thousand, good job. That's what you're telling me. Right? I mean, yeah, that's pretty that's pretty no, much. No, no, yeah, no, like, you, you know, know you know none of your receivers one. got a thousand yards, right? You know that, right? And I mean, don't have one, <laughs> Exactly. Have so to get one. a number one, you gotta trade a first round pick. That's what I'm saying. No, you know, you're not doing that. Y'all not doing that. Y'all not doing that. I know y'all not doing that. So. That's the problem. Yeah, we're not going to do that. That would be the dump. That would be super dumb. And that's why y'all we're not gonna doing that. We're going to give them a fifth, and we're going to take that contract off their hands so they don't got to pay it. Damn. Give them a fifth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bro, you got to think about that contract is a lot of money, dog. For eight no, you're going to have to renew that contract. Hmm. There's no way to get him for a round pick. Okay, we we'll will see. see. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe he'll go for a second like Julio Jones did. But I feel like he's he's in better shape than Julio. Well, who knows? The Bucks traded a second for Julio? Oh, you mean the Titans? Yeah, yeah. they traded a, a second and a fifth oh, round. That was dumb as hell. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. So it sounds like Hopkins not going to Carolina if Arizona's trying to get real, like as much as they can for him. So I mean, we got a lot of draft capital because of the McCaffrey trade. I'm just not giving you no top ten first round pick in this year's draft. That's what I'm saying. I don't think. Like, imagine somebody like Titans. He just lost AJ Brown. They might give their first round pick for him. Mm. I don't know. I mean, they gave a second for Julio. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Somebody might get fired if they do that. <laughs> like, and it don't pan out. Especially if they don't make the GM already got fired. Play, so the GM don't already don't got fired. What, they got fired. Another GM MD. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he might go for a second. But I know if, I, if I'm Arizona, I'm sniffing out that first for a couple months. Uh, for three months. Oh, no first? The hang up. No first hang up. And after three months around draft time, still no first hang up. And then as soon as like, draft comes, it's like, okay, fine. Let me, I'll set up for that second now. So, Yo, it, says that, he, it says that Hopkins is due 30 point. Eight million in 2023. Damn, bro, that is a roster. That's a QB. Oh, yeah, that is a QB. Shit, yeah. ain't yeah. nobody getting no first and thirty million. Nah, nah. Arizona gonna go ahead and have to take what they can get. <laughs> they gonna have to take an eighth round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just keep in mind. If they get a contract extension, they can spread out that thirty million, which is probably what's going to happen. That's what I'm like thinking. When like, the trade become official, they'll get the contract signed. So there you go, first round there again. Nah, I feel, <laughs> he's not going to be like, oh, I'm going to take twenty million. Like I just, I don't know. I don't he know might that. even. He I mean, like even a three years, sixty million contract. I feel like oh, unless they can get. Now they can get it to like a five to ten million dollar range, then I can see it first. But he's not gonna accept that because he could just be like, I'll come back, get cut, whatever, you know what I'm saying, for 30 mil, especially if no contender is trying to really pull him. But I just I basically see it working out like uh him re signing for a little bit less, probably like 20 million or something like that, some kind of signing bonus. And then he get traded out there for like a fourth rounder, but bro, and nobody's gonna give you a first rounder for for him for a thirty year old wide receiver. I mean, what he'll be like thirty one? Yeah, he'll be thirty one. He'll be thirty one, and then if you're not like right on the edge of contending, it's basically your ass. Maybe the Chiefs because they have such a late pick. No, no, not the Chiefs. Chiefs won't do that. They even pick Tyreek. Not 
Yeah, yeah, y'all both made some good points there, so it's hard to tell. But at the end of the day, I mean, I know Tepper gets a little uh, ambitious, so he's one of those uh, one of those uh, uh, owners that seems like he'll do whatever it takes to get his team to be relevant again. Bro, they already bro. As soon as this thing came out. The media, uh, social media for the Panthers went crazy. Everybody's saying, bring him home. Bring Hopkins home. That's a, in a row. You know how you just see the feed blow up? This, yeah. In a row, everybody's saying the same thing. Bring so, him home. It sounds like, uh, you know, the, the block's a little hot for him right now. So <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it all depends what Arizona want to do because now they got to get a new head coach. So new head coach might be like, nah, if I'm signing on here, I'm keeping him. Y'all keeping him. We're paying him the money, staying put, or I'm not I'm not coming on board. Cause I don't know what you want to do with Arizona. Do you want to completely rebuild or do you want to retool? Like I feel like since we already know that um uh Kyle Murray is gonna be hurt for a majority of the season. Mm -hmm. At least halfway through, uh, you know, I would just say that let's, you know, and we give him a new coach, but let's just go ahead, tank it. You know what I'm saying? They just gave a first round pick for Marquise Brown. So let's go ahead and tank it out so y'all can get some more higher draft picks. Uh, y'all, they really need a pass rusher. That line, like, they, they don't really have no pass rusher. They're, they're a lot just retired. Um, so they they gonna need some kind of like line and, and some kind of something well, to give Paul Murray a break. Here we so, go. You know what I'm saying? No, well then they kind of cooking because they the number three pick in the draft, and they yeah. either get the Alabama D lineman or the Georgia D lineman because yeah. both those guys are going top three, top four. So if they get one of those guys, and then. You keep Kyler healthy when he when whenever he gets back. You keep D Hop. I mean, they potentially on paper a playoff team. I mean, you still got. Uh, I mean, I know Connor's a little little injury prone, but when he plays, he delivers. He be scoring them touchdowns. He be putting up the the yards. So you still got running back back there, and he's still young. He's like twenty six. So. You got running back. You got two good receivers at least, and you got up and coming tight end. You got a QB. Just don't have him running all over the place. I mean, I don't know about their O line that much, so I don't know if their O line's any good. But on paper, it sounds like you got most of what you need to have a good offense. And then if you use the draft to do mostly defense, playoff mix. I mean, yeah, why not? Just build it up, you know what I'm saying? Build it up, especially if they, you know, slot out a third this year and get a bunch of picks for it. They can build up that defense really good, really quickly. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to rebuild this team. You're not that far off. You got a lot of good pieces. Just add to it and don't make one or two guys carry the load, and then you can win, up, win games. I mean, you just need the right head coach. I feel like – Kingsbury was bring that college shit to the pros. That shit was hit or miss every week. You don't know what you're gonna get. Is Kyler gonna blow up or is he struggling the whole game? It's like you need you need a lot of consist consistency. So I feel like maybe get another running back that could run in between the lines a lot, and then you could bring Connor in every now and then. So that way you don't beat him up because he can't handle the the pounding all year long. Yeah, and then. Um, Make sure you build a good old line so Curry's, I mean, uh, um, Kyler is not running for his life too much because he, I mean, there's one thing to extend the play or and then there's another thing to be running for your life for first downs. So make that man stay back there, extend the play, and then deliver to D-Hop or uh, Marquise Brown. I mean, he got two good receivers, man. So he shouldn't need to be Lamar Jackson at every damn game. <laughs> he could be back there. Just complete the pass and let those guys do the heavy lifting. So I don't know. I feel like uh, D Hop staying put. So sorry, Carolina. He ain't going nowhere. 
Because whoever's the head coach is, I'm sure they'll want that man. Like, why wouldn't you want D-Hop as your number one receiver at this point? I mean, I get what you're saying, but I don't know, bro. You know what would be crazy, though? What? They keep D-Hop. They got Marquise Brown. What if they just go ahead and uh, grab, I mean, what, they got a number three pick, I think, something like yeah, that? Yeah, number three. <laughs> what if they just go ahead and grab Bryce Young Ooh. or – uh or uh, CJ Stroud, man. Like, bro, hey, Kada already, Kada already, bro. You can't do that. You already know. You basically can see. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I mean, I, I'm the type of GM. I might do that, and this is why. <laughs> Unless, because it seems like it seems like they already had a thousand issues, and like more personnel issues with Kyler's personality and. And dealing with the team and supposed to being a leader, but not really being a leader, people questioning his work ethic, things like that. Now, his work ethic literally was the joker for like a week on national sports media. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Them ha- traveling to put in the contract that he has to study the game. <laughs> what pro quarterback, you know, like you got to tell them you have to study <laughs> or we're not going to pay you. Right. You know what and then what? how are you structuring your, your monitoring his studying? Like, it's an honor system, like anyway. If yo, if I was them, I'm grabbing Bryce Younger, CJ Stroud, whoever is there, right? And then, if you can, you I mean you got you got Marquise Brown there, and you got um DeAndre Hopkins, right? So he has two really good wide receivers coming straight out, and they also have um Zach Ertz there too. So yeah, you're right. He coming yeah, back so, from injury. Yeah, so um, next year, he doesn't have to completely just ball out, but just be consistent enough as a thrower. Bro, you put Colin Murray on the block, you easily get in three to four first. You know what I'm saying? You probably get three first package. What? He injured. He injured. No, I'm he saying injured, well, I, I'm not saying you trade him when he's injured. I'm saying you trade him. Like not in this off season, but next off season. If so, you gonna draft a quarterback and keep him on the team? Nah, you can't. Yes, pack bro, you yes thinking, we have bro. It. It's like Jimmy G on the side. Nah, bro. Yeah, no, like no, no, side. No, that's called killing his value. Yeah, you yeah, can't do no, Packers two point over there, bro. Nah. You don't even have to. It doesn't. You know what? It doesn't matter, bro. You know why? You talking about killing his value, bro? First off, this is a next man up league. If you, if the locker room feel like you're not competing. And doing what you're supposed to do, they're gonna be the first one to be like, I don't care how much you're getting paid, sit your ass down to Kyler Murray. Okay. And we we done moved on. Okay. But anyway, what I just want to make a point is that it's not killing his value because people already know what Kyler Murray can do. You know what I'm saying? And just because you don't necessarily him, but you just because you you um have another quarterback there does not mean you have to come off of Kyler's contract. Because you're paying the new quarterback pennies on the dollar, especially if they get rid of Hopkins' contract. That's so a hard I'm idea. saying, bro, I'm saying, Kyler been Kyler been ahead. Okay, think about idea. this, Rodgers. Think about this, Rodgers <laughs> can get away with what he's getting away with 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 all this stuff because mm-hmm. he got the Marine. He's been there for like 20 years. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so. They already know if they get off of him, it's gonna be a long rebuild. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Kyler Murray's kind of doing the exact same stuff, kind of having the exact same issues. You know what I'm saying? And he's getting them nowhere. He got them to the playoffs and they got beat by like 20 points. That's why they fired a coach, though. <laughs> exactly. I was just thinking that. <laughs> the but problem I'm saying, is I'm saying is too young, man. He's too young. He just signed his contract. And he's injured. Like, this yeah. would be the worst you time. Your bike jump. And if not, it's if Kyler right come back, Kyler come back, you go ahead and trade Bryce or CJ. Somebody going to give you a first for them? No, dude. No. <laughs> first of all, I'll be honest with you. I don't even think either of them are going to be at number three. I think whoever is number one, Bears probably going to take them um, a quarterback. Yeah, right. there's 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 rumors Bears might take Bryce Young and then trade Justin Fields. That's a better option than uh, you that's said for cool. Cardinals. Get Fields of Carolina. No, that's that's rumors. Or if Bears are smart, if they're not gonna take Bryce Young, 
they're gonna trade out the number one spot and get a hand a haul for um that number one pick. So I don't even think either of those quarterbacks are gonna fall to number three. I think Houston's gonna definitely taking a quarterback at number two. We can already write that in. You know, there's no need to like bro, after the first pick, they don't even need to take the full ten minutes. Like we all know they're taking whoever's left. And then number one pick is either Bears gonna take them or Bears gonna trade out and get a haul for that number one pick. So this is a it's a waste of time even talking about it. <laughs> they're not allowed to hit number three. No the quarterback. Hey bro, you never know, man. You never know, bro. Let's bet fifty dollars. That so the bet is that the Bears are gonna take a QB. No, the the bet is that Bryce Young or CJ Stroud will not be in the board by the number three pick. Okay, I'll take that. Take so all, they got, all he has to do is get the number three pick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's real. Okay. 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 Right, that's okay. Let me write that down. I appreciate, it. I appreciate that. Yeah. So right. write that down. All right, so both top two QBs are gone by the third pick. That's a little risky, Jeff, because I like it, man. you know why that – I mean, no, it's risky for you because you know why? A couple years ago when they had all those QBs coming out, they didn't think Justin Fields would last all the way to where the Bears got him. They thought he was going to be taking the top ten, and he didn't. And that's true. I mean, they thought he was going mm-hmm. number one. Some people thought he was number one. So it, it's yeah. tough. It's tough. We'll see if I win. I'll probably lose. Either way, dollar bet. I $20, really don't. Fifty dollars. All right. All right. So Ryan and Jeff, fifty dollars. We'll, we'll see. That's a good bet though, because you might be right. I feel like Chicago has a important decision to make. Do you believe in Justin Fields? To develop, if you don't think he's gonna develop, then go get your get Bryce Young or um, damn the other guy, CJ um, Stroud from Ohio State. So if you don't think if you don't believe in just feel, all right, get out from now. You get something in return, and then now you got a new franchise QB. But if you do believe in them, if I was them, I'd keep the number one pick. And get the guy from Alabama or get the guy from Georgia because those guys are nasty and that's what they love. Bears is all about defense. So if you if, if you get one of those nasty D linemen to pressure QBs, now now you force in turnovers to happen. So it makes you in the game if you get a few turnovers each game. So QB might last the third pick, but I mean that's why it's the draft. Nobody nobody knows who the hell knows, but I like it. I like it. All right. So now we move in on. So we heard about Carolina. We heard about the Pats. Time to talk about my Colts. So here's what's fun to happen. We getting rid of Jeff Saturday because he tried, bless his heart, but he don't got no coaching experience. Okay. So I feel like he's like a CEO relying on an entire staff to take care of business and they feel him. They fill him on what they're going to do for the week. So you don't have a real expertise at the end of the day. You're not a defensive guru. You're not an offensive guru. You're just like the manager that supervises the whole thing. (laughs) So I feel like if they do good, let's say, you know, give the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you'll get a nasty offensive coordinator that makes the Colts look good. And out of nowhere, Colts are in the playoffs next year. Another team just goes snatch that OC. So now you got to find a new guy. And you're not the one designing plays. You're not the one play calling. So if you don't get it the right next offensive coordinator, now you might suck again. Because you, you, you're not an expert at anything. So if I was the owner, that would cross my mind. And if I wouldn't pass up. I'm getting an expert at something. But there's some good OCs out right now, good DCs. So you want to grab one of them so you don't have to rely if your coordinator gets gets taken, what you're going to do. So Jeff Saturday out. New QB. We, we'll probably get Stroud because, you know, we're the fourth pick. And if both Alabama and 
Georgia defensive ta uh, tackles. I think they're both defensive tackles. Um, if both those uh, defensive linemen get uh, drafted, then you know you have one of those QBs because Houston is probably grabbing Bryce Young. So we'll get Stroud. So that's the change finally that we've been waiting for. Get a young QB. We have to probably get rid of a whole lot because at that point, you might as well rebuild, right? The team looked terrible. I mean, even our premier guys, a lot of them didn't play great this year. So I'm not, I don't know if I should completely blame them, but it is what it is. They didn't play their best. So nobody's safe, nobody's job safe. So you probably get rid of a lot of guys that the contract's up for renewal, and you probably don't want to pay them because you're not going to win a Super Bowl in the next year or two. So you get rid of those guys, and for some reason, I think we're get, I think we're grabbing Jim Harbaugh. I mean, he's he used to be a Colt quarterback. He's in the Ring of Honor. He brought Michigan back, and my owner loved former Colts players. So it, it line it, it just lines up. If he wants to come, that is because. If he comes, he knows he's starting from scratch. So he's going to obviously want to get a team that's better. You know, there's the Broncos. There's Arizona. That's about it. <laughs> so you got those two teams that have a better roster and have a, at least two accomplished QBs in the NFL, at least on those rosters. So if he does go to one of those two teams, then he's probably going to be looking at the Colts as like a third option. So if we don't get a hard ball, I like to get Ben Johnson, you know, the OC for the Lions. Like I said, if you made Jared Goff look good, you should be able to make any of these young QBs come out the draft look good. So I can work with that. Anything's better than what the hell we're doing this season. So at the end of the day, I'm going to say the Colts next season is going to be 500, 8-8. Eight and eight. Y'all think it's a stretch or what? Definitely a stretch, and there's 17 games, so 8-9. and nine. Ah, uh, eight and nine. You're right. I keep forgetting about last game. So eight and nine, under five hundred. Damn. All right. So eight and nine. How about you, Ryan? You think we're going under five hundred too? Next year, I'm gonna go with probably. Probably. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, do y'all think y'all team's gonna be under five hundred or over five hundred? Then Zappy playing over five hundred. Okay. You, you got a lot of faith in Zappy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Zappy, really acting like Zappy. Really over, though. Really the last couple Season games. Over, of the season. Season over, and, uh, Zappy. You know, next His year he's looking right. all the way on the up because Zappy is the man. Like, bro, if Zappy was really the man, why did he get benched again for Mac? That's another conversation. We're talking about Colts now. Though. We we're saw the Chicago Colts. game. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Colts right now. Though. We're talking about <laughs> Colts, but. I mean, I just feel like the I feel like uh, the Jim Harbaugh hire will be great. Um, I just know that I know a lot of people was talking about you know Jim Harbaugh getting paid a pretty good amount of money to come up to the NFL uh, by the Broncos if they don't get Sean Payton. So I don't know whether your owner will be willing to pay that. I know you kind of said he's like a cheap guy in the past. No, 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 no. My owner is not cheap. My GM is cheap. Oh, GM is cheap. Oh, okay, okay. My owner paying uh, Frank Wright $9 million for the next four years just to sit on the couch or go coach for somebody else. And then he's going to be paying Matt Ryan's contract, $18 million, just to be off the team. So altogether, the guy's showing out about $50 million. You know, I guess that's nothing to billionaires. But to me, I'm like, damn. That's everybody's lifetime amount that you're just giving away for free, and they're not even doing nothing for the organization. So multiple people, right? And not even, yeah, dang. So he's, wow. hey, he'll he'll pull up the 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 checkbook and tell Harbaugh, write your number, dog. I'll cash it. Let's go. So I'm not worried about the owner not forking up the money. I just don't think if I'm Jim, I'm not going to the Colts as my first option. You know. I'm going to Arizona, where at least you got pro proven QB, or maybe you could revive the Denver project. Cause I don't know what to say about Denver. Is is Russ washed, or was it all heck it? Like, who could tell? 
Do y'all know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping it was Hackett, though. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, it's tough because I feel like the roster is good. Like, it's not stellar, but it's good on paper because you got Judy, you got uh, Cortland Sutton, uh, you got Hamler. And I'm missing another wide receiver that got injured this year, so he never played, but he was Henson. No, it was another big body receiver. He was like 6'4. He played two years Tim ago. Patrick? Yeah, him. Yeah, Tim Patrick. So you got like four starting level wide receivers. I don't think they've even been to the Pro Bowl, but at least they're all four starting level wide receivers. So the defense can't really load up to stop one guy because any of those four guys will, you know, they could kill you, get third down conversions, get touchdowns, you know, beat your DB. So you got four starting level wide receivers. The tight ends, mm, I guess the rookie was okay. So you got a decent up and coming tight end. And then you got a running back. I mean, he got hurt this year, uh, but he'll be back. And he was good before he got hurt. So I feel like if they can invest in that old line, the defense looks straight. So use your draft capital, get some good old line in around Russ. So he feels like he has time to, you know, diagnose the play so he doesn't make mistakes. And then you're cooking again. You feel me? Like, you don't have to be dropping 35 points a game. You just can't be doing the shit you're doing this year. So <laughs> if, he gives his, if, if Russ could just consistently put up two, to three touchdowns a game, they're winning a lot of these games because defense is going to hold the other team down from, like, their usual average because that defense real. So I feel like the Broncos might be a head coach away from turning it around and be the playoff team next year. What y'all think? I mean, I would say the Broncos are really close to being able to turn it around um, because they have a lot of pieces. It's just really, man, Russell played, like, he showed against the Chiefs that, like, they he has it in him. Mm-hmm. But it's just hard to be like, you know, what's the missing link? You know, why can't he move it? Because, I mean, I know Carolina has a pretty good corners and whatnot. But, like, in the Carolina game, mm-hmm. like, he got into a fight with his own player because he couldn't move the ball at all. You know what I'm saying? And then they also have Devontae Williams, who's out. Uh, but I mean, it, it just seems like there's something missing with just the whole offensive scheme that they need to fix um, because it just didn't look good all the way around in multiple games last year or this year. I agree. I think they're. I think they were the worst offense for like the first eight games of the season. So you can't tell me it's all on the on the head coach because you can't. I mean, you could be me of the pack, but the worst. So you're right. Something has to change over there during the off season. And if the O line's fixed, I don't know what else you could point fingers to. Ooh. I mean, I think that they'll be able to get through. Well, I mean, let me see. They have the Raiders in their division, mm-hmm. and they also have the Chiefs. Is it the Chargers? Yep. Yeah. You know. It's tough. It's yeah, I was gonna say because they're not gonna be better than the Chiefs unless Patrick Mahomes just breaks his arm or something. <laughs> right. Um, and then the, the Chargers are kind of coming back now, so I mean, I'm pretty sure Keenan Allen is not gonna retire. So, <laughs> and Austin Eckler, dude's looking like possibly top three running back. So, yeah, it's it's hard to say, but. Uh, I mean, who else? Who's who's in the AFC? You got the Dolphins as a wild card team. Um, who else is a wild card team? No. Uh, no. Oh, for wild card, yeah, um, it's Chargers. they're not gonna win a division. So I'm trying to think, could they even slide in the wild card? I don't, you know, Chargers, Dolphins, and Ravens. I mean, Ravens not gonna be there if, the, if Lamar doesn't come back. So. I mean, possibly. I mean, because Tennessee doesn't look like they're going to get their shit together. Tennessee uh, might as well rebuild at this point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All um, you got is Derrick Henry. Everything yeah. else is trade bait. And we could trade the whole team. Like, 
<laughs> ain't not much over there. The Raiders trading away their franchise quarterback. Right. Hold up. Time out. Let's talk about the Raiders for a second. What the hell is going on with Josh McDaniel? Jeff, what's going on with your boy, Doc? You tell me, Doc. I just feel like he's just a good coordinator. He's not a good head coach. Damn. People it's like that. Damn. So, so after this job, he's done being a head coach. Then, if I think he should be, if he can't fix the Raiders, he's done. The career's over. I, think, I, I don't know about career. He could be an offensive coordinator, but Damn, I just so think he's a good coach. He's Bill's lackey for the rest of his career. Then <laughs> he's just no, those two. You still get paid millions. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So, if but he, he was there, no right? That's what it sounds like to me. Like, I mean, who's gonna come yeah, I'll save? Be welcome. Oakland? I'll be welcome. Welcome yeah. him with open arms. Like, welcome <laughs> back, buddy. You let us see yeah, more. Those zappy up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, turn to the next Brady. What's up? Damn. Dog. Like, I feel like Carr is a top. And say top 15 quarterback, keep it safe. So if, if you have a top 15 quarterback, you could make it to the playoffs. So what the hell is going on with the Raiders, man? Like, you, you got what you need on offense, I think. I mean, I guess you could blame it on Waller and Renfro being hurt most of the year. So you're losing two key guys in your offense. Exactly. So you could double team Devontae. It's been raw, right? So, you got to run it back. Devontae right? Adams is an offense. Like, I mean, you got somebody got to be able to step up and and beat the one on one. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all didn't the whole season, y'all y'all just saw this happening and didn't grab nobody in the trade market. Then that that means the organization is dysfunctional and possibly. Josh Daniels didn't want to Carter be around long term anyway. Yeah, I heard a little bit of that going on. Like he didn't really like Carr to begin with. So yeah. is Stidham the new the new man over there in Vegas, Jeff? You tell me. Oh, no, no. Is Stiddy good? Man. I know, but you seen Stiddy first hand. Right? Oh, you don't, don't think, think he's good. I think he's okay. I think he's a backup, but I wouldn't want him. Damn. You know, starter. Damn. So so Carr is a Carter, the backup. No, Stidham. Oh, Stidham. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I am. I must have missed it. Right, so, that so you telling me that McDaniel's is banking his whole tenure for next year on the trade? Like he better get a great return for Carr then. That's what they want. I personally don't think it's a smart move. I think it's kind of stupid. But at the same time, I mean, it's Charles McDaniel's, bro. Sucks as a head coach. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. So Broncos are a mess, and now you just turn Raiders to a mess after one year. Uh, it's crazy because I feel like Raiders are more of a mess this year than last year. Last yeah. year they had the John Gruden, they had the Arnett, they had the um, the wide receiver that hit hit the hit run. Oh, I already yeah. forgot his name. Damn. I feel like this year they're more of a mess, and none of that crap happened. Damn. So, what's that? That's that Penny black rug, cloud. Bro. Yeah, Henry Ruggs. Damn, yeah. so funny. When you out the yeah. league and everybody forget about you. <laughs> well, yeah, last year they had more, like, outside bad stuff, and this year they're worse. So. That's McDaniel's effect, dog. What do you want me to tell you? Man, I'm glad he said no to the Colts then, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing that gets me mad. I feel like even if he bombs this, which he's going to bomb this, if I be some other idiot team's going to give him a shot. I don't, I, think so. understand why. I don't think so. I don't think so. I just feel like he is. But that's just me. That's why it took him so long to even get a good job this year. Because last year he could have got it, but he didn't want to because he got told false promises. So he stayed along or whatever. But this year's like. Talking about, are you talking about with Colts or? No, no, Patriots? no. With Patriots because I heard the 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 owners, the one that called him, that made him called um he called him and let, mm -hmm. and told him to just stay on board you get the job after bill retires so say no to the Colts job so i heard that's the reason why he called back and said no i don't want the job no more last minute so he probably thought bill was gonna either retire 
or maybe take some time off before he coaches again. And he probably not notices that's not happening anytime soon. So he's going to probably go and take the next year coach opportunity. Does that sound about right? Yeah, but why Why would he think after he bombs, you'll get another head coaching um, opportunity after another five, ten years? Because two strikes. And mm. people people don't like the way he handled the coach situation. I mean, he got the job after he handled the coach situation. Like no, that. I know. And that already was suspect. And now look what he's doing with it. You drove car. I'm saying, out of all the jobs that, he, that were available last year, he got one of the best jobs. And look what he's doing with it. So well, if, you would hope if, that maybe after the second time people will learn, but I don't have that much faith in people. I, I think, mean, again. An uh, interim head coach took the, the, the Raiders to So I'm saying, team. but their dumbasses still took Josh McDaniels. So if Josh McDaniels burns the Raiders after next year and they fire him, who? what's the reason you want him now? No, no I feel like he's going to join another team. Their offense is going to be great. And then some dumbass owner is going to be like, you know what? Maybe you'll be good. <laughs> Give him a third chance. <laughs> yeah, that's just me, though. That's just me again. Because I felt like after he spurned the Colts, he should have just been blacklisted. Should have been like, Patriots is the only place you can get a head coach, and that's it. And this guy gets the best opportunity. He got Derek Carr, Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro, Josh Jacobs, and later on trade for Devontae Adams. Like, uh, oh. I think mm-hmm. the reason I think half the reason he got the job is because he made Mac Jones look like he's an up and coming quarterback. So he's gonna do that again for another team. <laughs> he's gonna get another job again. You're proving my point. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, his first opportunity was with Tebow. So like, all right, Tebow wasn't real a real QB anyway. So we're not gonna hold that completely against him. Let's give him one more shot. Now he got that one more shot. If he doesn't make it right, I don't think he's gonna get the third shot. But we'll see. You know, it's all. Awesome. I hope you're right. I just don't think you're right. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what he does with the Raiders. Maybe next year it'll be good. It all depends yeah. who he good gets. Luck. Who he gets as the quarterback back there. So good we'll luck. see. All right. Well, on to the next topic. Our predictions we did last week so last week go ahead and pull that out sad yeah sad day huh <laughs> no i should ban myself from this year for football i'm just wrong so i, mean, I don't think i've ever been wrong so many times in my life i've been wrong jeff was, so many times but jeff was confident last week and i lost 50 dollars because lions fucking are over 500 can you believe that shit Dang. This year has been one of the worst years for football I ever done. Oh man, broke out the salt for this. Right. Game. What's going on? He do a little margarita. He said that you don't even need to read it. I'm ready. <laughs> what get ready? I feel it. Right. Sad, I probably sad. took a shot during the game. <laughs> <laughs> a little He's, practice, right? Racing for it. All right. So oh, here's man. here's the predictions. Ryan said Seattle was going to get to the – Seattle's going to win, so coming out the NFC. And then he said out the AFC, he said Jacksonville was going to win to be the fourth seed. So he got two out of three right because then he said Steelers going to be the seventh seed. Yeah. So Ryan only needs to just handle one, one – no, no, it was two, right? Hold up. It was uh, – Two. Two shots per prediction, or one beer, or one seltzer. So what you doing? Yeah, yeah I got my, I All got right. Jeff's tequila, which is still at my house. <laughs> I'm pouring, uh, I'm pouring in the Panther shot cup. All right, all right. Hey, you, you went perfect, did you? Huh? Hey, so you're not taking any shots, are you? Hey, man, don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'm lucky, bro, because I thought I actually had two wrong. <laughs> nah, you got two out of three, so you you did way better than Jeff's sorry ass. So <laughs> Ooh, this thing. Oh man. Go ahead and handle yours, cause Jeff's got a tear running through his eyes when he's done. <laughs> oh. Ooh. No worry. We'll circle back because he still owe me okay. one more. Oh, God. 
actually. Oh, no. <laughs> so, Jeff, Jeffrey, Jeff Hype. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right. So my it's boy Jeff, on. right? I got was confident, like you idiots. <laughs> I can't even get I can't even get my face straight after that. I was burning <laughs> in my in my throat. You about to get an ice cube or something right yeah, now. <laughs> All right, Jeff. So my boy Jeff went with hit hit us with the predictions like they're facts last week. He said Packers are gonna win the NFC. I mean, I mean, they're definitely coming out the NFC again to the playoffs. And then he hit me with, "Hey, you got one right though, Jeff. I'll give it to you. You weren't, you weren't, you didn't go zero three and blinked it all." He said, "Jacksonville's gonna be the fourth seed. Congratulations, my friend. You got one right. Instead of taking six, it's four today." And then. He went with the Patriots at the seventh seed. So go ahead and pour, go ahead and pour one up, Jeff. Go ahead. That's the first one right here. All right. What is that, by the way? Just kilo. It's eighteen hundred. Show me the yeah. Show me. I got my okay. Man, make sure you didn't pour the water bottle in there. All right. No, All right. Yeah, water. he probably yeah. All right, damn, yeah, you ready for two? One. Second one. All right, you know, you know, you're right. Cause you're drinking double. Ooh. Ooh, good thing it's cold outside. That chest real warm. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so tough. It'll open the window after that. You didn't get all three right. Here's my predictions. Harrison said Seattle. It's gonna come out the NFC. Out the AFC, Harrison said Jacksonville's gonna be fourth seed, and then he said Dolphins gonna be the seventh seed. Oh, hey. fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> you should just take one, just cause. But... Oh, it's okay. Here's what I've been doing: the Corona the little victory beer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is horrible. <laughs> Do you take your second one or are you still moping, Doug? Uh, I got it right here. Don't worry. This is number three for me. All right, go ahead. Damn, go ahead. Both y'all. Oof. God, I need to be better at this. Thing. Rough. It's not fun. Mm. Yeah, you just the faces on these men. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, no chaser for me. Oh, you only have two, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you done right. Oh. You did, hey, you did your part. Thank you for contributing to the community. <laughs> well, it was obvious that the Patriots wasn't going to make it. Right. <laughs> Man, dog. <laughs> you, think, you think I'm drinking two shots for the Pats? <laughs> Those bums. <laughs> you really dying, dying on the sword. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, it's going down with the shit. to put some gum in his mouth and then... <laughs> <laughs> I still got one more, guys. Those taste buds that. are yelling oh. for help. Hey, I salute you for for actually doing the shots instead of bitching out. Right. He could have been like, "Ah, oh, Miss Four, let me make a deal." Right. I thought he was gonna pull out his little notebook and pull out excuse number thirty-eight and hit us I with that. Today, huh? Bro, I'm not here. So okay. Thinking. Yeah, you're not me. You're not 100% right. <laughs> there we go. So now we're going to do the selections for uh, who we like in the playoffs? Mm-hmm. Okay. Who we like to uh, win. So tough. Who we like to win. And then, uh, and then after that, we'll say who's we'll going to win. Well, this is weekend, right? Yeah, just this weekend, and then next week, next week we'll we'll pick Super Bowl selections. But for, for so right now we'll start with who we like, and then who's gonna win. You just have to pick. Just, I'll make it easy for y'all. You don't even have to choose three teams like you did last week. You just have to choose two this time: one from the AFC, one from the NFC. And if you're wrong, you take shots or something. That's right. That's right. Okay, I like so, Bengals to beat Ravens. Okay. 
So my guy went for it. I feel like that's what I mean. I feel like we should just call that out. Because it's too bad. Like, look. I went for that. I like 49ers to be Seahawks. Okay. Now y'all can pick the other game. All right. Hey. I'm going to go with. I'm gonna go with Dallas to beat Tampa Bay. No, you know, I don't honestly no, no, I don't know. Because, because I want Tampa to kind of win. Like the 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 energy in the city when we go to Super Bowl is amazing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start rooting for them now that the Panthers are eliminated. So I'm gonna say that um I'm gonna say that uh 49ers to beat the Seahawks. No, no, you can't pick that. I already picked that. We can't pick the same. We can't pick no, the same. Nah. No, not the same. Oh, that I picked was, the okay. same. I'm picking the, the, you can't. Yeah. What's the other? What's no, the no, other? no. You can't, you can't pick the same guy. Here, Sorry. All right. All, right. All right. Here's what we do it. If we're doing that. Here's what we do if we're doing that. You could pick the same teams, but now you got to do predictions. Better prediction win. Whoever is farther apart from the prediction drinks. Let's not yeah, pick the cool. same teams, all right? Don't nah, bro. Yeah, yeah, right. 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 Get out of my way. We're going so many bro. games. Stop trying. Right. Stop trying. There's six games. Nah, Two nah. each. My Two each. Jeff, my boy Jeff went for the lowest hanging. No way. No way. No <laughs> way. No way. There's six games. No way. No way. No way. We're doing the low hanging fruit. That I'm gonna say, hey, that fruit might be rotten. So we doing predictions if y'all pick the same teams. That way, someone's drinking. All right, stop copying <laughs> me, man. Pick some other team, though. Stop nah, copying me, Ryan, uh, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Don't listen to him. If that's stop what you're copying me, man. Stop both, copy. You don't want to be a copycat. Y'all both give me scores. What's up? First of all, Harrison, you go fucking first. You always go last to pick off our shit. No, Harrison goes now, right? You go third, dog. Sorry, this thing. He's always winning and shit. No, I'm not going third. I'm not going third. third no. thing, and I, you know I what? Did. Hey, Harrison, Harrison, matter of yeah. fact, yeah. to be fair, he had the worst picks of last week. So he should go last. Right? You, you should, because you got the first. I'll go last. I'll go last then. Harrison right. goes first. I'm going second. Okay. And go. Uh, in the usual last place. All right, I'll go first. So here's it says <laughs> Bengals is being the Ravens and 49ers being the Seahawks. <laughs> 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 and I'll make predictions. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Closer to the prediction, point wise wins. So if I nah, man, we point... should take no, 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 no. We should take the Bengals and Ravens and Bills and Dolphins off the table as long as Lamar play does not play in the Ravens game. All right, so hold up. So then so, you got you got the Seahawks and 49ers, the Chargers and Jags, the Giants and Vikings, and the Bucks and Cowboys. Okay, so no Bills, no Dolphins. Prediction. No Ravens, no Bengals. No Ravens, no Bengals. All right. Oh, oh, yeah. Actually, uh, Harrison, you say y'all not gonna be back in town, right? On Monday, you're not gonna be back on Monday, are you? On Monday, I will be, but it's gonna be late night, so oh, I, I, I basically won't be. I mean, I thought you come back Sunday. Well. Sunday night, Monday. So it's gonna be late Sunday night. It's gonna be m Monday m morning. So it's late night, right? Yeah. That's what you're asking. He said, "You said late." I, I don't know, late say it one more time. I'll be in town on Monday, but it won't be till late Sunday night. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I was. No, I was gonna say. Uh, you know, they got the uh, at the convention center. They got first takes going on there. Live oh. from the convention center, if y'all wanted to go out there. Live from where? The Tampa Convention Center. Like, like what time? Like 10 a.m. on Monday? Um, It's at 8.40. I think they said they opened doors at 8.45 for the Dude, first. I'm, I'm there. I'm there. And Let me know I'm there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk about it off the, off the camera. But, yeah, I was going to say we should slide out there. It's free, so. For real? Yeah. You said 8.45 a.m.? Yeah. We got to get up I'm in there. the morning early. I am. I'm there. I can't promise nothing because that's Monday morning. But Wait. Uh, oh, oh, crap. This Monday morning? 
Yeah, this next. I'm still oh, there. I'm still there. I just have to. I have to leave by like eleven, so I'm there. We'll probably be done by then. I'm there though. All right, sir. So I wrote it down anyways, just in case, because yeah. like I said, we'll be leaving late Sunday night, so we'll see what time we get Tampa and then unpacking all that stuff. But yeah, all right. So back to the predictions. So we can't pick Bills Dolphins. We can't pick Raven Bagels, correct? Yes. What about 49ers Seahawks? Can we pick those or not? Yeah, we can pick that because they have their normal starting people. Okay, okay. So we'll go, we'll jump on that first. 49ers Seahawks. Appreciate it, Jeff. Thanks for the alley. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you want me to go first? All right. So 49ers Seahawks. And then uh, for the AFC. Uh, Yo, this right here. Why are you thinking, Harrison? Uh huh. This thing right here is called a grooms. It's from France. The best soda in, ever. It's called what? Oh, it's a margarita. Yeah, it looks like a margarita, right? right? Yeah. It's so like an orange. It's about you guys ever heard of Sweeps? No. Mm. Company. I've they, heard of them. In America, they sell like the um. Like ginger ale, right? Like ginger oh, ale, yeah, yeah. Like ginger, yeah. They sell ginger ale too. They're really yeah. big in ginger ale here. Um, right. but yeah, they sell like the ginger ale and the green, the, the like small green, uh, green cans, and mm -hmm. then uh, they sell like tonic waters. But over across seas, they have other flavored drinks, kind of like you know how Fanta has like flavored drinks here. Mm -hmm. They have this thing called a grooms, and it's like a, uh, it's like orange and um. God, what's the name of that fruit? What's the one that's like sour? It's really grapefruit. grapefruit. And lime. It's a mix yeah. of all three of them. Yeah. And uh bro, the flavor is it's completely different than anything we have here. It's not there's nothing that tastes similar here. Damn, okay. Yeah. I'll be having to get like an alert to try to get them imported. Uh -huh. I found this one website that like imports stuff from overseas, like exotic like drinks and snacks and shit. Mm -hmm. it's oh my god, it's amazing. All right, it's on point. All right, I'll have to check that out. You said it's called Sweeps? It's called, yes, yeah, Sweeps, a groom. This type in, I think a groom's is A G R U M E S. And it's in like an orange can. Right. A G R U M E S? Yeah. Sweeps, is that S W E P T S? The Sweeps is a S C H W E P P S, yeah. S H E P P S sweeps and grooves. All right, I'll look out for that. Yeah, I had to get some chaser after them shots, man. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I went with 49ers, uh, 49ers and C. Uh, damn, where I put it? Yeah, 49ers versus Seahawks, and then for my AFC matchup, I'm gonna go with uh, damn. I don't really believe in this team, but I feel like they finally here. So let's see what they could do. I'll go Chargers beat the Jags. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough because the Jags been performing. Yeah. So it's like Chargers. Yeah, that it's it's Chargers time now. Like all this talk about Herbert, Herbert this, Herbert that, top five, top ten, nasty guy. Like, all right. We'll I heard that the uh, Chargers head coach probably gonna get fired if they lose the first on the first round. Really? So <laughs> that would be shocking. Oh man. So hey, Sean Payton's on the block, bro. Everybody like if you ain't performing. We moving off you. You got, Harbaugh, you got two big names, Harbaugh and Peyton. Right. I feel like for Chargers to fire their coach, they need to get Sean Payton. Harbaugh's not good enough, in my opinion. That's right. Like, that's the only thing that would like validate it. I heard. Know? I heard to get Sean Payton, you're giving up first though. Have you oh, heard you're that? right. He still has ties. Yeah. I forgot yes, about sir. it. You're then I'm just goal. keeping Bradley Staley. Then I'm not giving up a first. That's right. that. How bad yeah, you want him? Uh, <laughs> uh, nah, I'm good. Hey, to be to be honest with you, 
if I was Sean Payton, maybe he just wasn't does not want to be uh in New Orleans anymore. Of course. But I was like, man, honestly, they got a pretty straight defense. They got Olave and they got us okay picks. Like I just feel like he's used to like a top five KB. Yeah, yeah, they don't have that. Rebuild. Yeah. It's not a complete rebuild. It's not a rebuild, but he's just used to like a certain level of QB and gotcha. like a Justin Herbert would fit that mold, but not gotcha. unfortunately not Jameis Winston. You know, gotcha. so that's probably why he doesn't want to deal with that. I don't even yeah. think Jameis Winston gonna be back on the roster. Today, to it's on a two-year contract, bro. Oh yeah, two year. He got. Yeah. Like, I thought this was his last year. Okay. No. I, I don't know if it's a team option for the second year or play option. That's the only don't thing. I don't really know if he's healed all the way because he was sitting out because he had like uh, some fractures in his back. You know? Bro, I hope by his next season he'll be healed. <laughs> like, he's, yeah. healed. he's healed because he said something like, I always said I was going to be a quarterback that wouldn't lose my job to injury, and here I am. And it's tough watching. Um, the backup take my job and I'm and I'm healthy now and I can't get in. He said something like that earlier this year because um, uh, I forgot their coach name, but he liked Dennis having Allen. Dennis Allen. He liked having a veteran QB. And <laughs> he liked Andy Dalton, even though Andy Dalton is he's he's washed up to me. But I guess he performed a little bit when he first got the job. So that they're like, this is how offense supposed to look like. So they just rode with him till the wheels fell off. But um, at the end of the day, he, he he was healthy enough to play, but they never went to throw him back in there. So if if he doesn't do something this offseason, I don't know if he's ever gonna be a starting QB again. Because if 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 you can't be if you can't be Andy Dalton, who's yeah, gonna give exactly, you a job? Yeah, you well, actually hard. I low key feel like he could be Andy Dalton, but he just started out so bad that they're just like F it. We're sticking with Andy Dalton because remember that three interceptions he threw in like yeah. the fourth quarter. So I'm saying that, he never started again. So I'm saying like most teams would be like, ah, let's go get some out of college. Ah, you know, I'm feeling Jimmy G. Forget it. Let's go get Jimmy G or something. You know, so we'll see. But yeah, those are my predictions. I'm going 49ers win, Chargers win. So now, Ryan, you up? Who you riding with? NFC wild card. Damn, bro. I mean, let's see who, who we got. I guess I'm going to go 49ers with you. Okay, okay. I ain't going to lie. I kind of want to pick the Giants to, to beat the Vikings. Let's see. That's you know, we should do a, I feel like we should do an upset pick. I feel like we should do an upset pick, but it's I mean, whatever. If we do an upset pick, we might as well choose all the picks because they have too many more options. No, we can choose three picks, one upset. That's only three picks. That way, no more than six shots. <laughs> Damn, that boy said six the limit. All right. So, <laughs> two four in a row, dog. Hey, so, let's see. So, I'm going with the 49ers for the NFC wild card okay. over the Seahawks. Um, I guess my margin, because you said we do the same one, we got to do a margin. Yep. I was, I'm just going to pick. Ah. We can do the same one and then do an upset pick. Oh, the upset. Okay, okay, cool, cool. That's Seriously, cool. what's your upset pick? Upset pick? I'm going to go with uh, Bucks beat Cowboys. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay you're 10 right. So, yeah, I'm going 49ers over Seahawks for the wild card pick to win. Um, And then for my upset pick, I'm going Giants over Vikings. You said I want more. And then for the wild card for the AFC, God damn. That's so Dang, that's hard, bro. That's really like a, a toss up. That's Saturday night, too. Gosh. <laughs> I feel like they're going to be primed and ready. Man, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. The problem is I haven't seen the Jags defense enough. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Jags. Wow, Jags win. Okay. I feel like that's kind of upset pick too, is it not? Because I, mean, I feel like the Chargers are upset pick. Too, right? It is an upset pick because yeah, so you can go and pick Vikings then. 
Nah, I'm I'm gonna still pick, pick Cowboys. <laughs> I'm gonna still pick good. Cowboys. Yeah, good, good. All right, so I got you with the 49ers winning, the Giants winning, and the Jags winning, right? Yeah. All right, so I got you down. And Jeff, what you got for me? I'll go 49ers over the Seahawks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, my upset pick. Shit, this is tough. I'm going to go with Buccaneers over Cowboys. All right. Bucks win. So you got two out of three of my picks in my predictions. Who's your last one? I'm going to go Jags over Chargers. Damn, Jags over Chargers. Okay. It's going to be tough. Damn, it's going to be tough. Yeah. All right. So I got 49ers win, Bucks win, Chargers win. Ryan got 49ers win, Giants win, and Jags win. And Jeff's got 49ers win, Bucks win, Jags win. All that sound correct? Hold on. Say Jeff speaks again? I just can't. I missed it, I think. 49ers. 49ers. Bucks win. Bucks. And Jags win. Okay. All so right. You're upset, man. Oof. I'm down. That's a, a tall class, man. I'm going to keep it a buck or two. I'm rooting for Tampa Bay. But to be honest with you, that game has the potential to be a blowout. The Cowboys possibly could just run away with it. Yeah, but didn't the Cowboys just lose last week? Who did they play last week? I don't know. Commanders. They lost, they lost to, Washington, last week. to Washington. With, they, with they didn't pull, I assume they pulled everybody, right? No, no. Dak was there in NCD land. So all them boys who are main guys were there. I mean, maybe there might be a guy who's injured that I'm missing, but you had your starting QB, your franchise QB. You had your franchise receiver. Yeah, Hilton out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah T.Y. T.Y. Hilton on the field. T.Y. Yeah. was out there. Yeah. And they still lost to rookie QB. You don't even know his name. <laughs> I do. Hey, you know, hey, another, another thing that nobody's talking about, I would mm-hmm. not be surprised if Ron Rivera is fired this all season. You know what? I don't think they should fire him, man. Me either. I don't think I don't think so either, but at the same time, it's like, bruh, y'all are not really making no progress. Y'all just keep staying in the middle of the pack year after year. And it's never like, oh, you know what? I think it's their year to do a deep run. But if you rewind, who we talking about right now? Washington. So that's first and foremost. It's not like you got a good roster like the Chargers on your hand. You got Washington with Taylor Heineke or Carson Wentz as a QB one. And then you got all that bullshit going on with the owner, Dan Snyder. They about to kick him out the damn league here probably during oh, the yeah, offseason. I forget about that whole, yeah. Yeah, with all the scandals and all the stuff he been doing over the years. All that stuff's coming out to light. You saw how fast they kicked John Gruden out, so he next. So, Washington in Washington has been good and relevant for probably a decade now. So, probably since RG3 was there and with, uh, with, with Cousins. So, I mean, which coach you could get that's going to do a better job with those QBs? So, you might as well keep Ron Rivera at least for one more year and get him a QB that he likes. They probably have to get someone from the draft because I don't know if they're trading again. I mean, I guess you could trade again because you might find Garoppolo a car or something. So I guess they could do one more trade because Carson didn't work out. But this last trade, if it don't work out, then he's probably gone. So he's probably got a big influence on the decision on the QB. But at the end of the day, they beat Dallas. They, they beat a couple of teams this season that they weren't supposed to beat. So you could tell this talent and this potential because they got some good receivers too. Receivers are good. Um, I don't know about the running back. I know Brian Robinson been kind of shaky, but he's a rookie. He been hit and miss some weeks. And uh, the defense is all right. They come in along, but nothing special. But altogether, they're not trash. So it's a decent roster. They could keep building, and he's a defensive guy. So if he if he could get a real QB over there, 
he probably could get that team to the playoffs. I mean, the NFC was tough this season, but they're in the mix the whole way. Yeah. The, the, I mean, it was just in the playoffs last year. Uh, yeah, you're right. We're high yeah. I yeah. think they made, made it to the second round. Yeah, until so, Brady. Yeah, Brady. Brady waxed that ass. So, that was, yeah. That was two years before, but yeah. That was two years? Mm-hmm. That was the yeah. 2020 bubble year. Oh, okay. Yeah. The year Bucks won the championship. Yeah. So there you go. So this probably his last chance. I feel like don't fire him because if he gets fired, someone's probably just going to end up hiring him again because they don't think it's his fault that Washington hasn't been like a great team yet, I'm sure. That team was pretty average, so he's working with it. But, yeah. At the end of the day, they beat Dallas just now with the rookie QB. So I, 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 after that win, that probably just saved his job for one more year. I don't know. But, I mean, what you going to do? You don't have real, like, there's no real stability over there right now. Yeah, and, that's cool, man. I mean, they, I mean, they're changing the, uh, the ownership, so. Yeah, plus the first-round draft pick from two years ago, the DN, he didn't play all year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's supposed to be a nasty DN. He didn't play the whole season. So when your best DNs, I mean, he's he's the best DN on that team, but when your best defensive players didn't play the whole season. So when he comes back, that's gonna help the defense a whole lot. So at the end of the day, give him one more year. If they don't make playoffs next year, then you know, go a new direction. That's my opinion. I don't know. Awesome. Yeah. But yeah, at the yeah. but yeah, we, we got our selections next week. We'll see who's right, who's wrong. So before we dip, any last words, Ryan? Uh, man, you know y'all keep talking about Panthers getting Anthony Richardson. Um, <laughs> I don't know, you know, uh, Anthony. So number one, I just want us to get the the uh the the head coach position out of the way so we can move on these off season moves. You know what I'm saying? And start really making a plan mm -hmm. before everybody else starts grabbing them. Cause we got an opportunity. We know Brady even, I'm pretty sure Brady going to the Raiders or Miami. Or retirement. What is it? Or retirement. He's not, he's not going to retire. Jeff's Jeff still on that retirement tip. Yeah. Damn, Jeff. Hey, Belichick might get fired before Brady retired to keep it Dang, <laughs> shots fired, shots fired. $50, <laughs> $50, $50. You better or not? <laughs> $50. $50. Hey, real talk, <laughs> though, real talk, though. Real talk. Hey, hey, you know what? Since they don't have Sean Payton for a first, I don't know, Belichick for two firsts? Now, come on. Come on, not, <laughs> not the same thing. Bro. Not the same thing. Hey, so Bill Texas is touchable, bro. So Bill Texas is touchable. He's not tradable, dog. Come on, dog. we ain't dumb now. Bro, Robert Kraft does not like Brady. I mean, does not like uh, six rings versus one. Like Bra he won Brady one? back. You know what? If I okay, what nobody's saying is that if I was fucking uh, Robert Kraft, I'd be like, "Fuck Belichick." I'm gonna go ahead. I'm buying. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, okay, and I'm also gonna get another wide receiver, and I'm gonna tell Brady to get his ass back here. He already didn't got a divorce, okay, Damn. so I'm gonna tell him to get his ass back here next year, and tell him he can bring whoever, whatever offensive coordinator he wants. That's and, not crazy. Yeah, that's that's not, not, bad that's not a lot of moves either. Like, that's man, not a lot of moves, bro. That's just that, hiring man. a stable offensive coordinator, yeah, a quarterback. Keeping your same defensive person. I mean, you got Belichick as a defensive person. That's not a lot of moves. That's like three moves. I'm right? down with that. That's that's actually that. good. Yeah, that's a nice I need to be a GM, bro. I need to be, I need to be a GM. <laughs> and then I woke up. That would never happen. <laughs> but that's a great idea. The only bro. reason I think that would have happened, Brady wouldn't want to go work for Bill again after he'd been. And Brady's never back. coming back. I 100% yeah. I, I agree with you. But I would keep it a bug with you as well. I would tell Belichick that if you don't, if you don't get along with him, then that's that's you. Like uh, you know, basically, basically, if you don't get along with him and you don't figure out how to, this quarterback situation, then you're gonna be fired. He, I appreciate Belichick, the sentiment. I'm gonna keep it a, a buck. Belichick has been um, 
not only exposed, but I would say to people out like that really know the game, he's been like humiliated because he's a good defensive coach and he handled the defensive game every time y'all won a ring and nobody can take that away from him. But he knows when to move all players. But when it came to offense and stuff like that, he's been questioning for years and years and years. And now we've shown that basically once Brady left and he did not have Brady, the greatest of all time to depend on, he had no fix for it, no pivot, and basically could not get y'all to anywhere deep in the playoffs, not even close. I mean, Jeff. Can you mm-hmm. Jeff? Even yeah, with a lot of cap. even He had a big cap like two years ago. Man, that's true. It's true, man, but I just feel like the TV position matters a lot, so that's the reason yeah, why. But he, he made, did he let go. The greatest, yeah. And he made the greatest yeah, QB all man. time leagues. Listen, man, you preach it to the choir. You ain't gonna act like that's you ain't gonna act like that's a thing. No, that's, he literally that's, that's made the biggest thing. Exactly, bro. I would be like a Belichick, bro. Your pride got in the way of y'all getting more rings. Mm-hmm. Y'all could have y'all could have possibly had seven or eight. Right. I agree. I mean, right now, the AFC is not as great as we thought it was going to be before the season started. We thought there's going to be so many great AFC teams. Watch out for the Broncos. The Chargers are going to blow up. The Raiders. The Chiefs. I feel like everybody took a step back, even Buffalo. I feel like everybody took a step back. And if y'all had Brady, shoot. Y'all could have been in the Super Bowl this year. Who knows? Like, it's all about, about that. I mean, you're. I mean, I basically, like, y'all would have to get through Burrow. Yeah. And the Chiefs. I mean, that's. that's, that's y'all had, y'all had Brady and Brady and Bills are still wide receiver. And Ramador Stevenson and that defense. The only people will be like Burrow and uh, the Chiefs. That people will be like. Chiefs you know and what? Bills. Bills are still tough. It. I feel like if we're in the NFC, it'll be easier. Because NFC is just 49ers. And that's the only gauntlet. And with Brock Purdy, I feel like he took a step back. Mm-hmm. So AFC will play Burrow um, with, with Bill hey, I'll, I'll, and Mahomes. Those are not easy. I'll not go easy. ahead and pick if, if, but if Brady. Jalen Hurts is healthy, I'm picking the Eagles to beat the 49ers. Yeah, and the only reason why I agree with you is because it's Brock Purdy. Now, if it was Jimmy G, I would say not. Nah. With Brock Purdy, he's a bench you got fuck up. The rookie. <laughs> all right, all right. So, Ryan, just to wrap up what you said, are you pro Anthony Richardson or are you? Oh yeah. So, uh, the whole Anthony Richardson thing, I'm not pro Anthony Richardson. Uh, just as any fan, you have to settle with what's put out on the field. Um, so I will be okay with settling for him. Or Will Levis. Okay. Um, I the, I did not get a chance to see either of them really consistently in college. So, but I know they're both like six three or six four. The only thing about Anthony Richardson is I know he can run too, mm-hmm. but his accuracy with throwing it's not that good to my knowledge from what I've seen from him. I so, mean, yeah, I used to that. Yeah, I can. Yeah, but. And we have a running Sadie. game, but we need somebody Sadie. who can distribute, distribute the ball. You know what I'm saying? Because if you he can't got one. all these Sadie. things, bro, I, if we're going to get anybody, I'd take, you know what? I'd take Fields for not for not a lot, but I'd take Fields. Um, yeah, I probably, and I'll probably. I, 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 the only reason I'll be okay with Anthony Richardson is because he's still really young, and I saw what Jalen Hurts developed into. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I kind of yeah. thought about that too before I knew the Colts could be number four. So I'm like, Ooh, we don't have to go and worry about getting that guy. No, but, we might get Will Levis, right? We might get Will Levis, but <laughs> yeah, Carolina. I feel the Colts are going. I feel like the Colts may not have to move up now. I don't have the draft order in front of me. I'm pretty sure y'all are like, y'all are y'all four or y'all five now? 
Four. The four? Okay. Yeah. So if the Bears don't trade out and they get Will Bro. Anderson. Bears will be dumb if they don't trade out. You know, the first pick, people are starving for TV. And then you're going to be like, let me get this defensive player. Nah, bro. It's the Bears. Trade out. Bro, edge rushers nowadays are right. Are really, yo, they're like, the, they're, they're not the quarterbacks of the defense because the linebacker is, but they're just as important to a defense as a quarterback is to the offense. Bro. I'm telling yeah, you. Man. And the Bears want yeah. that. The Bears, they need, that. The Bears need that. Right. Khalil Mack ain't there no more, and they miss those glory days. So, like, yo, that's what we need. And they got defensive, they got defensive coordinator as a head coach. Yeah. So that's what he's gonna want. So you might I, be like, see, we lock down people, and just have uh, somebody. Um, we just have um, what's the what's the quarterback name? Who? Fields. Fields, just have Fields yep. run all day. Yep. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. And then they also got. They, they're probably moving off Montgomery, but. They got um, uh, the backup coming in. It's, he's a good dump off person, so yeah, or no. But uh, but yeah, it's long story short. Richardson, I'm okay with him having time to grow, but I just feel like there's other things we can do um, in free agency. That's not a lot of big moves to be able to like basically fast forward our, our production. Like we could definitely be like a threat next year if we just grab a couple people. Um, you know, and then maybe I don't know, man. Quarterback wise, I don't know, man. Sounds like bottom line is if y'all don't pick up a QB in the off season or in free agency, I mean, you better go get um Richardson in the draft, right? Yeah. See, the thing is, I don't know if I want Richardson over Levis. And I don't know if you want Levis or Levis ain't gonna be there for you, that. Like, you, you, you think so? Okay. You, you guys in the ninth pick. Hold up, let me see. So you got the Bears, Houston, Cardinals, Colts, Seahawks, Lions, Raiders, Falcons, and then Panthers. So the Raiders got Brady coming. The Seahawks uh, hold not up, the hold order. up, hold up, hold up. You still got to consider Brady might not come because who knows? He might go to the Dolphins. So let's see. Well, he might Tennessee, retire. Or he, he might retire. retire bro. I know so, you want him to retire, but he's not going to. Yeah, he will know. He's going to be in the AFC haunting y'all. Well, yeah, we don't know. But here's what we do know. The Texas in a QB. The Colts in a QB. The Seahawks are 50-50. I'm pretty sure whatever happens in that playoff game will let them know if they need to replace Geno or not this year. Detroit is 50-50 because depending on which QB is left, when it's their time to pick, they can move off of Jared Goff if they want to. If they don't like whoever's left, they'll keep them. And then the Raiders, if they don't find a good replacement, you know McDaniels go pick up Levis because that's kind of the mold of quarterback he likes. And then you got the Falcons because, I mean, I guess you could believe in the Falcons QB, but – if they see Levis there, they might pick him up too and let a QB battle happen the whole offseason. So I, it's tough for the. I mean, I feel like y'all got to trade up if you want. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. So I, don't, I hope we don't trade up. I hope that honestly, if we can't, if the quarterback doesn't fall to us, I hope that we trade back and just get more picks on top of yeah. the ones we already have. That's smart. Because yeah. if there's no, I mean, if Richardson's on the board, you should probably get Richardson. Yeah. But if he's not it. on the board, trade back. Cause we also got like, Matt Corral, who's been on IR. We don't know what he can do. Yeah, that's true. You know, we really don't know what he can do. That's but, true. Uh, I, feel, I feel like he's like another Desmond Ritter, though. Like, he, a, yeah, he could be. Could he's be. like a bridge QB. Like, he's decent. You'll win a few games, but he might not be that franchise QB. I don't know. I, I don't really, I don't really want Jimmy G. I'm kind of okay with Carr, but if we get Carr, I feel like we need to get multiple weapons, and I feel like that may not happen because Carr has a price tag, and we had to give up picks to get him. Okay. So yeah, you know I would be okay with um Daniel Jones. Ooh, he's good. I'd be okay with Daniel Jones over both of them. 
And because if we get Daniel Jones, we can still get some wide receivers and like pay for him. I'm not mad at Daniel Jones. He proved this year that he's been getting better every single season. Yeah. So this year I seen that he's like top ten in QBR, top ten in um turnovers. Like he used to be a huge turnover guy. Now he's top ten in least turnovers. I think he's even top five. And yeah. then um his completion rate is like top ten. So he's getting a lot of completion. He just doesn't have the big time receivers right now over there. So I'm like, damn, Daniel Jones is actually sneaky good. If he could get a good roster around him. Yeah. We got an old line. Carolina got a good old line. So. Okay, there you go. Y'all could make it to the playoffs. You get Daniel Jones. You just have to get one more receiver out there with them. Yeah. But um, that's not bad. All right. So I hear I hear what your wish list is. Jeff, what you got for me, dog? I already told you, man. Keep me battle, dog. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Bro. That's the parting words. QB battle. Yes. That's it. That's QB all you need battle, in your life. Man. Fuck Mac and QB battle. Let's go. <laughs> well, the thing I get is how y'all even gonna have a QB battle, bro? Like you mean it's Zappy, bro? This was Zappy, and this. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like y'all is gonna be in the same place. Yeah, I, know, I feel like it's a work. I feel like it's a time. No, whatever. That's my parting words. Yeah, you feel like guess. Zappy wins y'all one more game. Maybe a couple. That's couple. Okay. That's my party words, man. That's my I party words. Let me vibe with my party words. I got to a wish I'm to honestly, a real wide receiver. You didn't I'm wish. looking more forward to uh, the offseason and the draft in April mm-hmm. than the playoffs, to be honest with you. Damn. Then, oh, I mean, yeah, because your team's not yeah, in it. Your team's out. <laughs> Good thing. That's not true. <laughs> if you really thing. think about it, it's really the 49ers versus the Eagles. And Burrow versus Kansas City. That's oh, pretty much that's true. Oh, that, my gosh, true. I mean, that's not far. Look, really. I think we'll get past the Eagles order 49ers. I think Bucks have a chance. I think Bills have but a chance. Where, where do Bucks have a chance at, bro? The 49ers no. are not going to let Tom do shit. No, we'll see, though. Let's see that. That's just what I think. But you're probably right, but that's just what I right. Think. I did see Purdy knock off Tom a few weeks ago, so I don't know anymore true. about them boys. <laughs> but okay, man. Let a man dream, man. Let a man dream. So, well, I hope boys, Tom Brady can ride off in the sunset and retire after he wins the Super Bowl ring this year. Yeah, he won't. He won't win it this year. But he'll be back next <laughs> right. year to win it, and he'll probably be in the same division. And you guys will be having a quarterback battle while he was throwing to Tariq. Whatever, though. Yikes. Him and Tyreek. Whatever, though. The whole Whatever. league. The whole league in trouble. Tariq, Waddle. Right. Come on, now. That's nasty. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So, my boy Jeff is good with Jacoby being the wide receiver one for next year, too. All right. Uh, all right. So, we got his wish list. Just a <laughs> QB <keep you> battle. <laughs> <laughs> we got Ryan's wish list. My wish list. <laughs> y'all having yo, y'all having y'all skill position tryouts at high school, right? <laughs> y'all not much better. How do I you laughing? Both of y'all because our wide, because my wide receivers, I would say, I would say that our wide receivers are better than yours. Yeah, come on, Jeff. Much better. Come yeah, on, Jeff. Better. It's not a question. Not much I don't better. know, bro. Not much man. better. Well, what are we talking about here? I mean, my <laughs> tight ends will share on both of your team's tight ends. What's up? <laughs> Who you got? <laughs> Who's your tight ends? Hunter Henry's better than any <sighs> tight end on the coast. I know you guys have like fifteen of them, but he's better than any of them. Uh, Hunter Henry. Come on, man. You know where he's getting drafted in fantasy leagues? Come on, man. Still sooner than your tight end. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. If I look up Hunter Henry's stats, he might give you two touchdowns the whole season. More than your tight end? <laughs> I'll tell you that again. <laughs> I guess. I ain't nothing to brag about. He sucks. Hey, I'm bragging. <laughs> he's better than your tight end. That's what I'm saying. Huh? With your nasty tight end, y'all can't get in the playoffs. So, next. and y'all can't get it either. So, yeah, laugh at yourself. <laughs> All right. So, my wish list is let me go ahead and get a whole new coaching staff because we need just flush oh, wow. everything. Yeah, flush everything we did this season. None of that shit work. And get a whole new coaching staff. And then let, let 
let me go ahead and get either Bryce Young or CJ Stroud. If we get both of those, one of those two guys in a new coaching staff, I think we in there. The rest will take care of itself because I feel like you need a franchise QB and you need a competent coach. So a good coach, good QB, and we'll figure out the rest. So now we know where everybody stands. We'll see how shit plays off in the off season. And then um, next year, we'll see which one of our teams make playoffs since we all went 0-3 here. Next year, we're going to see what the real progress is, see which team went forward, which team went backward, or which team stayed the same. So it was a pleasure speaking with y'all tonight. The NFL season's up. We'll uh, gather up again, see how the players are going. Until next time, y'all have a good night. Peace. Peace. Peace.